so. Yeah. Power went out. So, two little streams, uh, this week got canceled because, uh, I had no power. And when I have no power, I can't stream. Anyway, uh, today, excuse me, today, we're doing a bit of RimWorld. So, the original schedule was going to be Neopets on Tuesday, and then Wednesday we were going to do something else. Uh, probably some... Actually, probably probably was going to be like medieval, a medieval, because I almost finished that. Uh, but none of that ended up happening because the power was out for 30 hours, uh, which means that <laughs> my whole like rhythm was completely thrown off as far as my stream schedule was concerned. Um, so, uh, what we're gonna do is play some RimWorld. Uh, this is a game that I have sunk. Let me actually check. 185 hours <laughs> into. Uh, let me check my, like, uh, let's see what that ranks on my, like, Steam library for, uh, time play. Uh, play time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth. It is my tenth most played game on Steam at 185 hours. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of hours. <laughs> if you didn't know. Um. So. That's fun. Anyway. Uh, you also might have noticed I added text, more text to this BRB screen. So now I can, like, make other things happen. I was going to have three different scenes. But honestly, this is just, just easier. Anyway. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's just get into it, huh? Here's RimWorld. So, I'm using a mod pack. Uh, I am specifically using Ambiguous Amphibian's uh, RimWorld mod list. That he made like a video for and it's like a shitload of mods let's let's check uh, not these these are something else but uh it's like all this stuff all of this all of these mods we're using so i maybe understand like half of these mods um and I, I tested this out last night so we're not or we're not gonna have any weird technical bullshit like some other streams uh, so I tested this out, I played it for a bit, uh, like two hours, just to make sure if, like all the mods worked, the game worked, and I knew how everything functioned. Like there's one thing I had to turn off, which is desire paths, uh, because this like just broke yesterday, apparently, and it was causing these like weird visual bugs and like the mod wasn't really working properly. So I had to disable it. So, let me check my audio levels. Is RimWorld? Oh yeah, RimWorld is mixed pretty low. Bring that up. Alright. It's a little bit better? Okay. So, ah... Uh, so this comes with... So, the, there's the four default start scenarios. But now we've got Mercenaries, Bandits, Renegade Lord, Wave Survival, Factory Entrepreneur. So... Some of these, uh, especially like this one, are uh, really involved. Some of the mods, it seems like they're supposed to be starts specifically to get you started with some of the new content. But I'm just going to go for Crash Landed. Simple, straightforward. Uh, I really know how to work with the start, and uh, I think that's fine. I think this will this will serve us as just fine. Uh, I have this. Ignore that. <laughs> Ignore that custom one. Uh, so this adds a bunch of new storytellers, 
We're probably gonna go for Randy still, but let's take a look. We've got, this is like the wave based, like wave survival mode, uh, which is I'm not familiar with at all. This is gonna warrant some investigation later on, but. Empress of Evil. So I guess this is like Randy, but instead of good things happening sometimes, it's literally always bad things. Like you can never get a positive event with this storyteller. Um, which is interesting. Uh, this guy interests me. We're not gonna be playing with this guy, but uh, this storyteller uh, limits everything to medieval and pre-medieval tech, which I think is potentially really fun. Uh, Cause that'll like make some of that more primitive technology much more relevant in the game. Uh, and then we've got, what's this one? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this guy does. His description helps a little bit, but that's about it. Gusters for violent ones and favorable odds, blaze of gory. Like, I guess it's another hard because it's from the same like set, but maybe this is more tuned for whatever this particular mod pack is themed around. Uh, and this one also not very easy to parse, but constantly keep you on your toes. Okay. Like maybe there's some custom happenings that can happen or whatever. Uh, Strive to Play, Blood and Dust. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what difficulty I want to play on. I think Strive to Survive? Uh. Need to anticipate the rest before they arrive. I think we're going to do Strive to Survive because I don't feel like dying horribly. We can turn this up. Yeah, we can, we can crank this up later if we really need to. Uh, I'm going to do Commitment Mode because, uh, that's just how I roll. Uh, I don't know that I want- what the fuck is Merciless Mode again? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That's like the super late game mode. Alright, alright. Uh... I'm not- I don't really care about world coverage. Because we're not gonna do much caravanning or anything. Although extra world coverage does give us more options for starts. And I think all these- all this stuff is fine. I don't care too much about the world. Uh, I would care more about it if I did more caravan and like faction specific stuff. In case you wanted to look at our mod list again. All right. So immediately, shit tons of new icons. So there's like fucking cowboy shit. There's like those anthropomorphic races that are in here somewhere. Uh, some new icons for different kinds of like basic settlements, like uh, denoting their like tech levels and all that shit. Also, you'll notice we've got islands. These are like one tiles. This is like new biome stuff. Um, what else? So I was thinking of what sort of environment I wanted to start in. And I wanted something coastal, not like island specifically, but something at the very least coastal. Um, because I kind of want to build a base like on a platform on the sea. Uh, so let's see, what are, what is our bro period? 50 out of 60 days. Uh, I guess. Maybe something that's, like, actually temper, uh... Because, like, I don't know, because I... I get, like, playing in a more tropical climate is really good, because you can produce food all year round, but I usually end up having, like, an excess of food, and my colony just becomes, like, we're constantly farming. So I think putting us a bit north, a bit more north, so we have a more like even spread of uh of a growth period like 30 40 i think is pretty good uh because i usually have like a huge store of food so i think i can afford to like push it a little bit oh god see sandstone marble stone we get granite yeah 
Oh, I guess granite would make it harder to mine, wouldn't it? You're just limestone and slate. It's good enough. But marble? Yeah. Yeah, let's go with this. Um. Looks good. Alright. Now, okay, so this adds custom races, but as far as I can tell... Yeah, as far as I can tell, we can't do that in the prepare carefully uh, menu. But, we are going to use the prepare carefully menu. Uh, so, let's... Because I want to have some nice, comfortable start. Ugly. So in my, um... Uh, in my messing around last night. Big heart, very emotional, loves helping people. Uh, in my messing around last night, I got a guy who had quick sleeper, and he was, like, amazing. An amazing pawn. So I think that's what I want to do. Fast learner. Damn. That's good. Not a fan of... Hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's get rid of you. Uh, dang, your skills suck, but you do have fast learner. Which is very good. Does this tell me what the things are? No? Okay. Uh, 35 is a fine age. Sickly child, melee. Minus two, because social uh i guess cook and you know what these two are really good cook medical maybe art because you're fast learner i could just dump you or maybe intellectual actually let's just do that uh i think this is fine like i i want to i want them to be good like units but i also don't want to make them, like, deliberately overpowered. Hauling, cleaning, loading, and hauling urgently disabled. Fuck. Guess you are the cook. Okay, so you can't clean, haul, or load. Shit, alright. Uh, that's fine. I think having one guy like that is fine. Let's see, what about you? Jogger, oof. Jogger's good. Apocalypse survivor, what are your stats? Uh, incapable of medical, I don't like the... All these. Boundary apprentice, combat engineer, crafting. You don't have crafting yet. Uh, these both? Crafting. Construction craft, yeah they are, that's really good. So, uh... Someone who's got some crafting experience. Uh, capable of jogging. Let's just pop that on there. Teetotaler. Uh, what else do we have? Caddy, Master Trade. Sucker. Oh wow, that's that's fucking terrible. Uh, staggeringly ugly. This is probably one of my favorite names for a trait. I just think staggeringly ugly is an amusing way to describe somebody. Rockhound. Working with rocks. Dang. Ooh. Interesting. Huh. That could be really useful. Uh, if I was doing like a, uh, what do you call it? A <laughs> uh, more dwarf fortressy colony. All right, K here. What do you got? Okay, so we have a crafter. Who's good at shoot kill? Uh, and we have a who's it? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, and then we got you. You're our cook, our medic, and our researcher. All right, we want us all to be healthy. All right, scout livestock. So what do we need? We need, yeah, we do need someone for animal handling, but I think we need someone for plants specifically because we don't have anyone for that. 
Uh, so we'll do plants. Plants and animals, maybe both. Maybe like our farmer. Um. Oh, that is. Oh, that is wonderful. That that is exactly what you look like. Okay. <laughs> Incapable of intellectual and artistic. Because of livestock farmer. Hey, look, livestock farmer. Uh, scout. Shooting, construction, crafting. Nah, we'll change that. Add filter. Whoa. Give me plants. Artisan farmer. Cooking and plants. Medieval plower. Plants five. Artistic intellectual construction. Uh, that? Yeah, that looks good. It's a little bit of construction. Pessimist, annoying voice. I don't want to have that. Animals plus two. Uh, permanent mood effects. Tame chance. That's good. I like that. That, that. That's good for animal stuff. I guess with a guy as good as that, we're going to want some animal stuff. What about a, a plant? Can I get some plants? Is there any plant stuff in here? Ooh, hold on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Someone just surprised me with food. That was pretty nice. All right, cool. Uh, I guess I'll... That was not the time to... Sorry about the delay. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's see. What are we doing? Just... Evidently, I was given someone else's sandwich. <laughs> so, uh, there was another interruption there. Whoops. I mean, you could... Let's try to, like, actually start this game. Uh, outdoorsy. That's good. That's good for him. Outdoorsy's good. We'll go for that. Uh, otherwise, I think this is fine. Uh, although, let's give him some plant passion... Yeah, fuck it. Both. That's gonna be really important. And I, I, I'm not feeling too guilty about doing that because we're putting all of our eggs in one basket, which I think is a, a natural way of balancing out uh, this stacked sort of uh, start that we've got going on. So, let's take a look. Relationships. Julia Castro. So there's no pre-established relationships. There's just somebody has a husband. Um. Oh yeah. What if we turn point limits on? Oh, we're actually within the point limit. That's cool. Uh, names. How about names? I think these are fine, actually. I don't care too much about the names. Juliet, K, and fucking Sissy over here. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we're not great as far as combat is concerned, but yeah, let's see. Okay, so we'll you'll have a gun, you'll have a knife, you'll have a gun. Start. Yes. Oh man, when I was like configuring these mods, the game was taking like forever to boot up. Uh, but now that it's all like, it still takes way longer than it does without like unmodded. But uh, 
Now that I've got everything like configured properly, it seems like it's a little bit faster. Okay. Let's look at our start. That's not a lot of ocean. I was kind of expecting more. Shit. Uh, additionally, let me check something. Uh, structure, is it? Bridge? Oh, do I have to, like, research bridges? Shit. Oh, wait, no, I gotta, like, wait for us to land, don't I? Yeah, there we go, okay. Structure, wood bridge. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, we won't worry about that then. Uh, what do we got? Oh, fuck. Already got some mega spiders. Some nasty bug boys. And they're right there, too. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? So this is, this is just a royalty thing, I think. Uh, this, have, this has a beauty to it. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Steel tables. We could set up over here. Uh, do we have a grow zone, though? God, which button does that? This one? Fuck, okay. Um, this is like a pre-built structure, and I could utilize these, but... I could uninstall these and then bring them somewhere else. So that's fine. Uh, these aren't deteriorating, are they? I don't think they can because they're like structures. Um, so here's, we're gonna have to like allow everything out of there. Yo, do we have, oh, we have a cat. I thought we had a rat. I was excited for a second. Okay, let's just allow everything. And let's get ourselves equipped. What is our... Your god, what is our... Bio. Shooting three... Five. Uh... Is it better to give the person with higher shooting a rifle or the... Because I think the rifle... Because the rifle has less chances to get a hit, whereas the revolver can just keep going. I think. All right, so we've got a lot of shit. There was just like a thing that let me auto allow stuff. Cause that's one of the more annoying things. So I could, we could establish like in here in this like cave and then use this as our grow zone. And we've got some boomalopes. So if we manage to tame these guys, a bit of wildness, but we do have a really good handler. If we manage to tame these guys, we can milk them for chem fuel, uh, and we could use that as our power source. As for others, we could like close this off on either end. In fact, I think that's what we'll do for now. Like that. Whoop. Okay. No, don't. Don't mind it. I appreciate that the, the mods I have allow me to auto do that. In fact, I think that's a feature I like had before I did this mod pack. I made sure I had a mod like that, but I think that uh, expired in its usefulness a while ago. Came unusable. Um, all right, so immediately we are just going to get ourselves set up properly. We're just gonna like do our thing get a place for our storage just so we have something to do and from there we're gonna start oh wait a minute what am i doing stop that stop stop all of that hold on hold hold on i'm like in a bad headspace so we already have a structure partially complete two squirrels uh partially complete here with some tables and everything uh, we can convert this. Okay, that's what we'll do. Because there's actually a grow zone right here. I was blinded to it. Because I'm an idiot. So, uh... Or we could do it here, but... 
I do like the idea. God, we have a lot of structures. It's kind of pre-built. A lot of sarcophagus. Sarcophagi. All that. Okay, we do have a lot more options than I thought we did. Uh, as far as just, like, starting out immediately. So, we're going to do a lot of planning. So, this is a whole goddamn planning mod uh, that adds, like, extra colors and stuff. Which is pretty cool. Uh, how do I get rid of plans? The plans. There we go. Ooh. Ah, look at that. Okay. So, I've played this game enough to know that I'm not great at doing this bit. Uh, so... What we're gonna do. So this... We'll start here, because I, I don't want to put this here, because these bugs are too close. So we're gonna start here. And this will be our primary structure for now. Uh, like this. And... Circle that whole thing. So this will be our primary structure, and this is going to be where our food is being produced at this field. Uh, so there's a few things we want to do. You, you need to consider some stuff, because you can't just... When you're building a colony, you can't just plop shit down wherever the hell you want to put it. First of all, let's... Disable that. So... How do I put it? Um, You need colonists to be able to naturally flow from point to point without much like issue uh so like you also have to keep in mind that like the like tractor shit that's another thing to consider but that's not as important so if this is where the food is being grown it's going to be taken into here uh which like here's the closest building so you might want this to be like storage uh, but I think this is going to be our workshop because it's good that we get that up and running first. So we can make this our workshop, uh, which would also be where the food is processed, but we need somewhere to store all that food, but we also need somewhere to store everything else, which is not food. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to put, actually make this blue. It's not overlapping, is it? No. Okay. So we're going to put... This will be just general storage. In fact, we'll probably expand it out like about that far. Like, is there a way to just straight up cut? Just delete plans? No? I, think, I don't know. I, I don't know how... Uh, these mod tools work yet. Okay, so this will be our general storage. Uh, this will be our workshop. And... Actually, I might want to make this like an elbow shape. Whatever, okay. This will be our general storage uh, in our workshop. And then down here, we're going to have a freezer. This here be our freezer. This is our freezer. And... What's going to happen here is uh, food is going to come in, like raw food resources are going to come in and they're going to get deposited in here. Uh, probably through a door on the, no, not a door on the outside, a door on the inside. So you're going to get deposited in here and then uh, we're going to have a cafeteria over here, this area, about here. This. this is where all cafeteria will be. So when pawns want to eat, they're going to come in here. Alright? And they're going to get their food from right here. So the food is right next to where their table and their chairs are. Additionally, we want to make sure that they live close to where the food is. We also want to make sure they live close to where their working space is. So, we're going to make a living quarters. Now, I tend to make rooms a bit too small, uh, but let's see. Okay, so I the way I like to do it is have a central hallway. So I want 
I don't want the rooms to be exposed directly to the outdoors. I want them to open up into a hallway. Uh, just because I think that makes temperature management in the rooms easier. Um, so let's see here. What do we got? Do we have a... Uh, it's a 9? Here to there. Well, actually, that's a 10 from here to there, isn't it? Okay. Which means this is a 8. So that's an even number. What about uh, here? That's a 7. Okay. Well, I could do like this. Nah, that's 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 too thin. That's like not enough. That's not enough space. Gotta get rid of that. Okay. So let's rethink this. Uh, I can expand this out a little bit. So let's see. What if I? Because I could do like. How big do I want a room to be? Like this big? Maybe like a four by four. Yeah. All right, like a four by four. So then I'll put it here. This will be where the hallway goes, like this. All right, and then we'll have like four by four rooms, like this, this, and like this. And then this will be like, like that, oops. Hold up. Like that. There we go. And of course, uh... There we go. So immediately we got four rooms, and we can expand this out back. Uh... I might want to make, like, a hallway... here as well. Um, so that this can open up into the storage room. Shit. Additionally, I want this to open up into. So let's actually. I have a. I have a different idea. Hold on. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this, like that. There we go. Okay. Now this is where our. Uh... That's not wide enough, actually. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie, hold on, hold on. There we go. That's how I want it. Uh, and I might as well put like a door here, like a door here, and we can expand this out in either direction. And there'll be a door here. Uh, I like that. that. That's good. I think that's good. Okay. All right, uh, th enough planning. I think that's enough planning for now. Uh, we need to like actually start playing the damn game. Because I've been sitting here for 30 minutes, and I've only made people pick up guns. So let's get down to business. So structures, we're not going to have any wood. Do we have any? We have a little bit of wood. Probably not enough. So for the time being, uh, we're just going to zone this whole area as stockpile. And we're just going to start by walling this in. So this is supposed to be our workshop, but... We don't have the luxury of making it our workshop just yet. So we're just gonna do this. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, we need to claim the whole thing. It's ours now. Um, so there we go. Additionally, we're gonna want to put our uh, sleeping spots in here because our pawns are gonna wanna sleep indoors. And I don't think I'll be able to get the bedrooms done just yet. Uh, and I also want to get our grow zone set up. We can also do fishing. Forgot about that. That's a mod we have. Anyway. There's some missing patches here and there. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what, like, the best food is. Like, the best plant just is generally. Ooh, this is a new interface. Um. Come y'all. Onions. Fertility sensitivity. What does that affect? Is that like the amount of multiplier it gets from the fertility bonus? Oh, it also has a fertility requirement. Interesting. 110. No 
Okay. Um... I usually go with, like, rice or something. Yeah, let's, let's go with the rice. We have a lot of... Ooh, chem root. Oh, you can grow chem fuel in this mod. In one of these mods. Vanilla factions expanded settlers. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have our we have our grow zone. And uh, that's cool. But we haven't managed our jobs yet. Which tab? Which one of these wacky tabs is jobs? Um, one of these. This one. Okay. There we go. So uh, let's take a look. Favorite? You can favorite cause. Uh, so we're just gonna set a few things to the highest priority by default, like firefighting, being a patient, being a medical doctor, uh, bed rest. Paul plus. Paul urgently. Okay. Might as well. Uh, basic stuff. Yeah. Crank that up. Uh, warden. Sailor. Handler. Put that at like eight, I guess. Uh, cooking. Dash that down to three. Hunting. I think these are both our hunters. Who has our ranged weapon? Is it Juliet? And sissy, because I uh, this has like oh it's animal skills right shooting and animals okay uh fishing we're not using fishing right now and then construction everybody wants to be on construction okay cool uh plants I don't want you. You. Let's just have these at three. Mining. You suck at it, so we'll just yeah, quarry. We're not fucking with quarry yet. Plant cutting. At least three. Smithing tailor. They're all really good. Crafting. Oh my god, we don't have an artist. Are you our best artist? Shit. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, is Sissy the fast learner? Yes. Okay. At least Sissy's the fast learner. Um. Alright, alright. Uh, nuclear. Radioactive material. Yeah, I don't even think we have that research yet. Hauling is important. Cleaning is important. Uh, what else? I'm gonna have to, like, tweak these as I go. Managing. Sign jobs or orders to your colony. Interesting. Alright, uh, let's let them go. We've held on to these guys for long enough. Now, how's everyone's health? Got one guy with crypto sick sickness. Crypto sleep sickness. All these fucking rodents. God damn. Alright. So the first thing we're gonna do is wall this area off and establish it as uh, our stockpile zone so we can put stuff in here and have it so that that stuff uh, doesn't start decaying. Now, if we did this in the cave, that'd be easier, uh, because we would just be able to, like, just close the door, and then, boom, we've already got some storage. But here, we have to, like, put some uh, ceilings in. And it looks like we're pretty much done with that. We're just cleaning up some of these bits here. Oh, yeah, they're gonna start repairing everything. Um... Okay, so our next option, we want to start with the uh, the beds. So let's take a door there. Uh, door there, door there, door there. I don't know where the doors are going here. Guess we'll have it like that. Let's do that. Um, 
actually. Do I want them here? Yeah, hold on. Now that I think about it, I think I want these doors to be uh, here. Like that. Is this open? This gets it gets them closer to here. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm overthinking it, really. But okay. Just get it going. Oh right! I can do this now. Did not consider that. All right, cool. Uh, we'll worry about like floors and shit later, but for now. Uh, wait a minute. It might be a better option to build the beds in here first. Yeah, let's do that. I shouldn't have gotten rid of the sleeping spots, but whatever. All right, bed, bed, bed. Uh, quality. Awful. Hold on. Uh, can I? How do I set that? The quality. Uh, set quality build. Set buildings for skillful worker. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how to configure that. So, like, the way this mod, the quality builder thing, I assume is supposed to work. So it's supposed to make it so if a colonist fails to produce an object of a certain quality, the colonist will deconstruct that object and try again. Is how it's like supposed to work. Uh, what's decaying over here? Yeah, that's not good. Hey, buddy, uh, maybe you. You're building the beds. I'll let you build the beds. Normal bed. Uh, prioritize that. I want to get these beds done. Very good. Watched it though, idiot. Alright, cool. Quick, okay, okay, okay. We got beds now. Fantastic. Alright, and I can start getting rid of uh, some of the plants. I find remove plans. There it is. I can get rid of these plans. And uh, let's expand. Stockpile out a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna want to start adding in like flooring and stuff soon. Deal earns. How much beauty does this produce? A wee bit. A wee bit of beauty. <laughs> Throwing up all over my rice. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Uh, I also want to assign this stuff. So usually what I do is I'll leave like two hours at the start and end of their day. Just just do whatever. Which usually ends up being filled with recreation or more work, depending on what they need to do. Uh, worst case, I will typically end up uh, like in enforcing recreation hours if the colonists are having a difficult time, like, being happy still. Okay, so this bit's... This bit's built. That's cool. So let's, uh, let's reinstall this bed. How do I want to structure these? Um... Just like that. And I'll put, like, a, a table there. Dresser there. Statues and shit over here. I think that works. Uh, they also don't like sleeping in the dark. Let's do that. That, that, that. Okay. Uh, we are gonna run out of wood. K over here is producing some wood uh, because they're uh, dropping down trees for the grow zone. That's about it. Does this increase your construction when you repair? It does. Okay, so, so it, it is a decent thing that they're doing that. That's good. Level six in plants, hell yeah. Yeah, one of the mods uh, dings whenever someone like, levels up, which is pretty neat. 
Hey, K, uh, can you please, like, 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 haul this shit? There you go. Also, colonists, when they haul, they'll pick up as much stuff as they can carry before they take it to their destination. Just so you have to do less haul orders. It's pretty nice. Inspired taming. You will successfully tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Oh, shit. Um... We got a lynx. Uh, what's our what's our wildlife list? Let's take a look. Uh, Mega sloth, bison, boomalope, spellopede. Oh, could you? Could I tame the mega spider? Could I tame the mega spider? Scarab. Could I fucking tame the mega spider? Okay, hold on, hold on. You guys go over there, Juliet. We're taming the mega spider. Cannot tame. Fuck, never mind. Never mind, guys. At ease, at ease. So, what's your actual taming skill? Oh, you're yeah, you're not our animal person. You only have a four or higher. Okay, that's a shame. I would have loved a mega spider. Uh, I guess a lynx. Because the lynx can actually, like, hurt us. What if I... What if I tag the lynx for taming? Not tame lynx. Animal is asleep. God, wake him up! How long does this last? Checked. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this lynx and the moment it wakes up. It's gonna be ours. Any minute now. Probably speed us up. The night is very purple, I've noticed now. Everything has gone purple. Oh, Lynx is awake. Oh, fucking Christ. That sucks. Uh, so I have to tame something that is reasonably within her skill level, I guess. So I guess I'll grab one of the Boomalopes. Uh, where are they at? I guess a female one. There we go. One right here. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Juliet, why- why- Oh, I figured out how to use the follow mod. Uh, well, who can I tame? Maybe an alpaca. I guess one of the females here. Julia, can you tame this? Oh. Hey, hey Juliet. Julia, can you harvest this apple tree? Okay, cool. So, like, can you use that? Oh no, solar flare. But like, what the fuck am I gonna tame? Now I'm left like wondering. All this stuff planted, it's not. Orders, chop wood. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. We've also got this, uh, this is a royalty mod thing, but we can meditate at this tree to gain, like, psych power or whatever the hell. How does that work? Uh... Interesting. This, does, does this structure here interfere? Because it doesn't want structures to be around it. And there's like a rebuilt one right there. Mm. Oh well. Oh, you know what? No, don't tame the alpaca, dude. Wait, we have food for taming the alpaca? What? Full food. What? 
What's in your inventory, buddy? Apples. Okay, so we do have apples. Drop the apples, idiot. Juliet, pick up the apples. You stop. Cancel. Okay. E, are you gonna stop? Okay, good. Juliet, pick up those apples. Okay, good. Now, see this alpaca? Male? I want the female one. Now, Juliet, tame the alpaca. Fuck yeah. That's a source of uh, wool? Yes. Wonderful. It's fine that they're repairing. I was just considering I might want to like cancel all these repairs that they're doing, but honestly, I don't really care. Uh, you know what? We, we need to make a production area for food. Uh, we already need to do that. Because they only have, like, 41 of these left. That's actually a lot, but it's not going to last. Ooh, there's a strip mine feature. That's fucking cool. Nice. Um, production... Build this. Look at that. Gotta have to mess with that later. Uh, we'll do a fueled stove right here. Along with... Stool. A chair, if you will. And we don't have any light in here. It's kind of a problem. I also don't have a lot of wood. I don't think you guys are on plant cut. Yeah, yeah it's a low priority. Alright, so we got one of these done. Uh, we'll just have them be like rotated mirrors of each other. Yeah, you don't want your colonists to be working in the dark, so it is, it's a good thing that they prioritize that torch. Got kind of lucky there. This counts as indoors now? Alright, cool. Uh, so this bed, I can put all over here. Alright. Need colonist beds. Oh, right, you're just reinstalling it, you idiot. Fine. Fine game, you can calm down. It's okay. These. I like that they're repairing them to gain experience, so I'm gonna leave those up for now. This is our dining room. I almost forgot what this area was supposed to be. This is supposed to be our dining room. So, okay. Um. Alright, so now we'll do... This is a new menu option uh book simple meal bake and flour there's like baking interesting but you need flour which was simple meal do until we have like 10. that's fine uh okay so we should we don't have batteries which is a problem we're gonna run into really soon. So we're gonna wanna research batteries. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. So this is one of the like the most daunting elements that's like in this pack of mods. The goddamn research uh, screen. It's like crazy now. Like, oh my God. So much stuff. But it has a search feature so we can find battery. Right there. But that is our next one. Um okay, battery. Bottoming. Bottom. Right. Um Okay. Okay, I think we're good.
this stuff is all done now. We'll worry about the floors, like, once we're close to being done with all of our stuff. Uh, now we want to do... Let's get the fridge. This part. And this bit. Whoops. Wrong button. Might want to replace these with other materials later on. There's a center here. I guess we'll center it. Oh, right, yeah, this. I don't want this. this shit, get rid of this shit. Okay. Uh. I think for now this is fine. Okay, let's grab a table from somewhere. Probably this table. Can I not? Uh, oh, do I have to claim this first? There we go. Okay. This fit? Yeah, look at that. Alright, cool. Um, I guess just sticking it there, like that, good enough. And we'll just build some chairs around it, furniture, wooden chair. Just four is good for now. Even if we have more than four colonists. Four would still be all right, because they're not like all eating at the same time. Okay, so these bedrooms are done. Uh, at least they're primarily done. Let's also put light inside here. So they're gonna want that. Dish, oh, I could have grabbed a table from here. Would have been closer, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna want to make some power now because now that we're building our area for our what's gonna call it uh, we want to have uh, a way to cool it so first off actually let's throw these guys in here and we'll throw them on this side because I don't see us expanding out in this direction because this is where our fields are gonna be do that that. That's good. Oh, uh, you know what? I didn't consider uh, people like going in that, like going to eat their meal like this way, because then they're opening like two different doors. But I don't think that'll matter too much. We'll have to see. Hold open. Let's just hold that door open. You know what? Hold that open too. And make it faster for them to get around. Okay, so we have those, and we're also going to want a source of power. So we don't have batteries yet. Uh, we're going to start researching those soon. Uh, but for now, I think wind turbines. We have steel? They're still on the map. I know they're still on the map, even if we don't have it. Where are our components? Do we have components? We should have components. Have we used components yet? Or what? Hmm. Well, there's components right here. Oh, let's uh, let's uh, let's mine that then. We're gonna need these. Um. So so so. Oh, I can rename zones. That's cool. Uh, order power. Yeah, snap. God, there's so much stuff in this. Uh, we could do, for now, I think a wood fire generator would be good. Maybe. And yeah, maybe the smaller one. These produce heat. I think these might produce heat, so I'll keep it outside. Okay. Uh, so that'll get us powered immediately. Didn't mean to pause. Yeah, we don't have any defenses. Uh, from what angle are we going to defend, though? Oh, you know what? I never added a door on this side. I don't want a door on this side. How long is this? That's what I wanted. How long is this? Ten. 
10. All right, so there's no even place to put a door. What if double door? Oh. Ha ha. Didn't think of that. Cool. Might as well uh, start using some modded stuff, you know? Justify the fact that that exists. Or see a botch the construction. Wait, does this produce beauty? That button here. Does. Eh, we'll leave it for now. I like how it looks. So is anyone assigned to mining right now? Not really. But we do have somebody mining. God, look at the fuck is that gun? That does not look like that. Weird that there's two different sprites for it. The way these mods are set up. Alright, I should also add uh, fucking torches to that area. Okay. Uh, what's our food at? A little bit of food. Are we eating the stuff that, that's, that's perishable first? I hope so. Wow, oh, that is a god-awful chair, dude. That's a less awful chair. Where's your construction at? Your construction's good. I guess you're just working in darkness. Or working outside. There's the outdoor penalty. It's understandable. Um, okay. So let's do... What we want to do. Let's do... This bit. For our mass storage. Uh, which I think we'll keep... Enclosed in here, maybe? Because right now, what? We got one, two... Three entrances into our base. Uh, we need a good way to defend our shit, though. Really? Really, dude? Uh, granite large stem. Raise on the side. Hmm. Still considering if one of these is nice enough looking. I guess we can't tell because they're damaged. Yeah, they're all like damaged. It's hard to tell. But having them like, I could like move them around here. So that, like, while people are walking around, they get to look at them. I don't think I gave anybody fast sleeper. Yeah, I didn't. That's fine, I guess. The fuck's our alpaca? What's he up to? Hey, alpaca. Do an eye. I. You know, let me take a look at this sandwich I was getting. The modest sandwich. Space battle, uh oh. This is my least favorite <laughs> weather. So, uh, I saw this in my testing last night. There is a space battle. So, uh, stray shots and debris are going to impact the area. Okay, it looks like it's up there mostly. It's already, like, 
Oh wow, it's blown up. It's blown up one of the, the statues. Was it just up there? Okay, it looks like it's localized. Over here. Fuck, it's killing some of the stuff I wanted to loot. It's a shame. Be good, we're researching batteries. There's Dylan the cat. Doing jack shit. <laughs> what happened to our table? Oh, right, the table died. Right. Whoops. Table fucking exploded. Uh, so what's going on? We got a bunch of- Oh, wow. Uh, it's fucking raining men. What do we have here? Up jogger. And Terry Fisher. Could be good. Fuck, you, you, this guy's got good construction, mining, melee shooting, art. I don't want to rescue him. He's about to die though. Shit. Yeah, everything's still exploding. I can't risk that. I, I really can't risk that at all. It, it'll be the death of me. And all my colonists, if I try to send them into that hellhole. Juliet, you kind of suck. What is going on with you? Tape that table. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I need a, I need a dumping zone. Oh, it's a good spot for that. Over here? Maybe over here? Over here. Yeah, um... I guess over here. Stick shit over here. And I can get rid of... That, that, that. And, uh... Yeah. Any other random rocks? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. God, we're just not done with these fucking walls. Come on, guys. And the learner helper off. There it is. Sorry about that. Okay, so space battle over. Are there any survivors? This guy. Alia, Chemical Fascination Master Trader. Ooh. Fuck, she is really good. Oh my god. Okay, who else? Ivo. Lot of corpses. Oh my god. Uh, you were. Were you here before? And you're pretty impressive. Codependent, though. Oh yeah, who's our, um, our medic? Oh, uh, let's see, well, who's our medic? Medic, medic, medic. Medic, medic, medic. You're our medic. Okay, cool. So we will throw sleeping spot here. Sissy will rescue... what's her face? Hopefully... No one will catch on fire. Hopefully. Go, go, go! Save the day. Save the day. Yeah! Oh, look at this dude's hair! Look at her hair! I she's dead. Oh, cool. Alright, so we rescued somebody? Uh, maybe they'll be our friend. Oh wow, this is ready. Already. Um, it's off for now. Let's see. Oh, there she is. oh, there's like fucking 30 components right here. Dude. 
your tendon. Okay, sorry. Take a look. Mechanite's addiction. Good 10 quality. Right? Uh, it looks like you're gonna be okay. Maybe? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a gathering spot. Okay, the primary structure. Something exploded. The primary structure it looks like we're done with what we planned. Let's get rid of all of our plans. So they're not plugging up the place. Um. I'll haul these out of here. Uh, so now let's get started with the flooring. So this area already has some floors. It's got a, uh, what are they called? Digital paving. Which have a beauty of one. Are they dirty? No, okay, so it's a beauty of one. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that menu. Some wooden. Uh, I can't really tell where all of the flooring is. But we're gonna try not to replace the stuff that's already there. Just efficient if we um keep that around. I think that's right. Let's do that too, just in case. Worst case, we get some extra like slate from uh digging that up. Oh right, additionally. That. That. Let's do that. All of this. All of this. Except for this part here. This part I want to smooth out. The same with this and that. Okay, we have our next set of projects to do. Additionally, this here needs to expand out. This is not enough pros on it. There we go. Want to make sure we have all the, the food supplies that we get. Sorry, I had to check something in another tab. There we go. Cool, cool. Alright. Do we have enough wood for all of this? Oh, also, delete that stockpile. This is our new stockpile. And now we have low everything because I don't have a stockpile. Hold on. Okay, so now I need to make sure all of our food. Wait a minute. Some of these, uh, some of these are already paved. Make sure I get rid of those. Okay. So this here is going to be our food stock. We're gonna clear all. We'll have uh, meat. And then we'll have meals. There we go. Okay. Shit. Um, and then we'll set the priority to preferred, so it puts mo it puts food in here first. Then we're gonna flick these on, and we're going to set them to. I usually do like negative nine, and negative eight, and I hold at that. We're still doing battery research, are we? Yeah, we are. Oh yes, I'm still a fucker. Would you please fuel that? Thank you. Now this should start cooling down. Oh! 
Let's name ourselves. Hmm. So what's our faction's name? Uh That's a good question. Well, we've been dropping frames this stream, have we? Two thousand frames. Point seven percent. I have not noticed that. Why doesn't OBS scream at me when like I'm actually dropping frames every now and again? But like it screams at me when I'm not, whatever. Streamlabs OBS is not great at all. I should probably like return to regular OBS soon. Anyway. Faction name. Uh I don't know. God, this is hard. Coming up with names is always difficult. Like what are we? Cool maybe the cool dudes. We are cool dudes. Cool dudes and s stuff. Yeah. And uh, this is. I don't know. Rice Town. There we go. Alright, so now this, this is cooling down. This is going to be our freezer. So any food we store in here will be kept preserved as long as the temperature in here is maintained. So you can see how this says it spoils in 3.7 days. Well, if it's frozen, it won't spoil. We're probably gonna have to go hunting soon. So rice here takes like 40 days to spoil, so we're not going to put this stuff in uh, the freezer just yet. We don't have much of a reason to stick it in the freezer yet. Hmm? Oh. Hell yeah, we got Talia. She's a fast walker, which is really good. And she's got all these fucking stats. Fortunately, she does not have a melee weapon yet. <clears throat> We're low on medicine? Or no, the medicine's just over here. Okay, well, let's get... Bed. Alright, I need to assign her to, like, everything. Okay, uh, 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 you're a good doctor, apparently. Ah, uh, warden. Sure. Jailer, alright. Handle, whatever. Cook, yeah, cool. Hunt, you don't have a weapon. Do we have a spare weapon? I don't think we have any other weapons, honestly. That sucks. Uh, we're gonna have to set up a weapon for her. Grow! We got a new person for plants. Uh, mining. Worry, whatever. Plant cut. Smithing. Bottom priority. <laughs> Bottom priority. What else do we want? Oh. Clean. Put everybody on some research. I don't know what the fuck these. Do that too. Uh, what's your gear? Shitty shirt. Compared to everybody else, who's got like nice stuff. Okay. So we have been neglecting other forms of production, but we also like don't have. Oh shit! I can see my stone chunks now. That's cool. Um. So let's do production. Production, production. We want maybe a crafting spot for knives, yeah. Just a simple crafting spot. 
and we're gonna make short bow. What's your better skill? Shooting by far. So I guess a bow. Sure. How else are you doing? Uh, you're beat the fuck up. And you got an active mechanite addiction. What is active mechanites? Active mechanites. For a logical adaptation study level, without regular doses, withdrawal symptoms will begin. However, extended abstinence can force the brain to adapt back. Well, it's only a 34%. Maybe isn't that bad. We have enough wood. Got a good amount of wood. Okay, it's coming together. I don't know where Talia went. What are you doing? Yeah, she's fully rested because she was just in bed for like three days. So she's gonna do some grunt work. Let's follow her. Go. Slept on the ground, intense pain, soaking wet, slept outside. Yeah, she's not doing that great. We need to uh, prioritize her bed. We've got a bow now. Um, who is our construction guru? Our cool dude. Oh. Juliet. Yeah, it's Juliet. Alright, hey, Juliet. Hey. Nice. Slowly coming together. Very slowly. <laughs> Uh, we are getting our first bit of rice harvest. It's good to see, good to see. Temperature is being maintained. Yeah, I, I keep it around 8 or 9. And that usually has it so, like, if you're going in and out, it dips. It goes up a little bit, but never too much to, like, not be frozen anymore. And also, you have two different ones working which is just like a standard thing you do. It's it's just a room world thing. I don't I, I don't even remember the explanation as to why you want to uh coolers for your freezer. We'll rename this to freezer. Freezer. That's just the stockpiles on better better. better. Nice. The colony, the colony is working away. We are, uh, let's have my, cause... Yeah, that guy kind of sucks, actually. Um, want that open. I don't want that, though. You know what? We can start on, let's get rid of these. These are shit, honestly, and we're going to replace them soon. So now we want to have a... Still researching batteries. Uh, we want, not that. A uh, stone cutter table. And. Oh, right, we need a butcher spot. So. The thing about butchering is it uh makes a big mess that you need to, like, be sure to clean, like, regularly. Um. And. Uh, it's kind of just better just to leave it in its own little area so it doesn't interfere with just regular cooking. Um. Shit. I guess. We have to deal with that. I, for I forgot to take that into account, honestly. Whatever, for now. For now, this is fine. This is fine for now. Um, need an art bench. Let's, let's get rid of that. Okay, we need an art bench here. And what else? Cancel that. Don't cut a table. 
furniture. There we go. So I can start placing art uh, all over the place. Uh, and that'll help increase everybody's mood. Because you can see people are starting to drop off. Talia's in horrible pain, so that explains what she's up to. But he also hasn't eaten. He's a dumb idiot. But oh well. Is there animal filth? That is dirt. No animals produce their own genre of filth. All right, all right. shuttle. Oh, that's a lot of people. Dang. What do we got? Tough and pretty. Brown thumb. Bad gardener. Okay. But wow, look at your stats, though. You got good stats. Um, okay. It's good crafting, good melee. Capable of animals, capable of dumb labor. Crafting, though. Found our artist. And our researcher. Okay. okay. Alright, we're doing it. Uh, guess I'll stick him... Uh, stick him in here. And have Sissy or see one of them. And who's our next best medic? Talia. A disaster. I'm digging both of these guys. Although, we're gonna have to up our food production if they join us. That's something to consider. Talia, are you okay? No, you're not. You just haven't eaten anything. Holy shit, dude. Eat something. Are you, like, disallowed from eating? Hold on. No, you're lavish. Okay. Be fine. Eat something, you idiot. Chemical damage. Chemical damage. Really? God, yeah, eat! Dummy! Eat! <laughs> Alright, how are you guys doing? None of you are going to die anymore. Good. Okay, we'll just we'll just let them play that out. Keep an eye on them. Uh, I'd be fine if just one of them joined. Uh, if both of them join, we're going to have to expand this out. That's fine. We're also going to want to do something about food production. Alright, Middleton has left. Milton has decided he's going to leave. But we still have Disaster. I would still very much like Disaster. Because what, he's got like, too smart? Is that like an intellectual thing? Global learning factor, fuck, yeah. Holy shit. Could, I, could you stack too smart and fast learner? I gotta check that, if those are like mutually exclusive or not. That'd be pretty funny. Right, uh, make any block. Uh, do it forever. Can I set priority on this? Specifically? No. That's fine. Anyway, Ugh. just checking. I didn't accidentally like show my desktop when I tabbed out. <laughs> I, 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 I. Was anybody gonna build this? Does stone cutting increase uh, crafting in this mod? In these mods, it does not. 
All right, let's let's set a range to this actually. Um. Oh, I can see it right there, actually. Let's do that. Oh, uh, yeah. Just so they're not, like, doing that forever. We're out of wood. That's why stuff isn't getting constructed, because we're out of wood. Uh-oh. Hey, disaster join! Fuck yeah. Hey, dude. How you doing? So, let's see. What are your skills again? Melee, shooting, crafting... Yeah, we're gonna want to make another knife for a hatchet. Make a hatchet. What else can you do? Intellectual crafting. All right, let's get your jobs assigned. Disaster. Bed rest. You're cooking up there. Hunting. Construction. I do want both these guys to have some construction on them. Wait, is he have, he's the one with the brown thumb, right? Okay, we don't want him on plants at all. Let's restrict that. Make sure he doesn't have either of those. Oh, we can put him on mining. Definitely want him on all of the crafting stuff. Definitely research as well. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Wait, does he have artistic as well? No. Right, and one of the other things we're gonna wanna do now is we're going to want to expand out our uh, living quarters. Uh. I think we can have them touching. What's this? This is a six by six? Okay. Six by six. By six. Install that there. Now I have to build these like on the side though. It's fine. We're gonna want to, first of all, get out of here. Um, second. Wow, my mind stopped brain not work for a minute there. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I do it. Okay, there we go. That. Bed's in. The bed's like that. That. Being next to that. You know, I could just copy and paste these. I think I have that ability now. Whatever. All right, so we also need to order them to cut down trees. Because ain't nobody got no wood right now. Oh, shit. Stop. Not chop town fucking anima tree, dude. Uh, I'm not planning on using it, but... You know. Is that in range of anything? No. Okay, we're good. Uh, orders. Yep. Chop wood, chop, 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 chop. All right. Just still getting beat to shit. Oh, I'm considering claiming some of those structures just so I can have them uh, be repaired, so I can grab them or sell them if I need to. Production's not great right now. Yo, disaster. Got you a hatchet. Go wild. You know what? Uh, fucking grab them flak pants. They're our fucking berserker god now. 
Do those flak pants take up the apron slot you have? Hmm. Apron, what's this do? Oh fuck, it affects global work speed. Is that gonna replace your flak pants though? Fuck it does. Okay, you know what? Sure. Can I enforce these? No? It's not. And now he's got tattered apparel. What is it? It's his, uh. Parka. It's fine enough outside. You don't need this. Yeah. yeah you, you don't need that. You're still good for negative 72 Celsius. You are perfectly fine, dude. Is anybody gonna work on this? Is anyone gonna work on this spot? Yo. Hey, Juliet, can you not? Hold on. Spend this. How many fucking. I have way too many. Okay, stop. Stop working on those. There we go. I'll turn that back on later. There's too many goddamn rocks. Okay, this though. Let's make uh, large sculptures, like 10 of them. Ooh, Ooh an excellent chair. It's got art on it. Fucking pop that shit. This furniture is in Origins of Sissy. This furniture is engraved with an artwork of Yulia Sissy uh, Conley riding in a drop pod in a plume of dust and rocks. I sure watch silently from afar. Ending the drop pod bubble up. That's the start of the colony. That's what that memory is. Yo, cat, could you not? Cat, you like a carnivore? What's your deal? You like suck on some grass? Like what's 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 your what's your thing? It's like diet. Raw meat, corpses, animal products, meals, pizza, processed food, kibble. Yeah, it needs processed food, I guess, but like, come on. We are very low on food. We're about to have a harvest soon, but we're probably going to want to go out hunting. Personally, we don't have a recreation source. The game never, like, yelled at me to do it. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> That's an interesting thing. Uh, I guess we'll just put it. Uh, where's like the door? Right here. Chilly, right? There's like tons of wood. Oh, yeah, could we like chop shit down? Dirt, 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 dirt. So much dirt. Middleton, could you like fuck off? A hunted creator. Oh shit. Our first quest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do I want to do the royal stuff, though? I don't know that I want to. Because that requires, like... That's like a whole resource sink. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. He's just gonna go fucking hog wild. He's hunting a bison, that's maybe bad. We can follow him, right? 
Alright, man, what are you gonna do? Boy, I hope that hurt a bite. Uh oh. Okay, he's doing fine, he's just kind of bruised. Oh, and he's down. And he's down. And he enraged the boys. And... Well, it is a bull, actually, because it's. Bovid or whatever. Damn it, disaster. You know, you could have just eaten. We have food. You guys have weapons? You do, but... Well, how injured is the bison? Okay, he's just kind of... fucked up a little. Okay. 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 K is alone. Okay. Okay, okay. You go here. I don't know why I'm asking them to get into cover. They don't need to get into cover. You go here. Okay, you stand up front. You see the you're a melee asshole. But you move. I don't want you to get a friendly pirate. Good. Good job, buddy. We got him. You know what I need to do? I just need to set up a butcher table. Even if it's not, like... Even if it's not, like, good. Because I need to be able to uh, pull these animals apart. Rescue this idiot. Oh, did he get back up? Okay, so one of the mods I have has it so they like automatically pick their ship back up when they get downed. Pretty nice. Oh, he's not dead? Well, he's gonna die. I need to keep an eye on him. Because he'll, he'll be marked to like forbidden. Unless I send my hunters after him. But I don't want to provoke another fight. That's what's got that much need catharsis, but he's still in intense pain because of that whole bison fight. <laughs> but he's down. Ooh, 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 finish off. Uh, hey, Kay, where you at? Uh, hey, Juliet. Uh, and then... Oh, right, I need to, um... Raw meat is in here. I need to put corpses. Animal corpses. There we go. Eats back on the menu. I wonder why Sissy's doing the art. Oh, right, that's why. She's the only good one we have. But she's got a fast learner, and that's it. What do you need? Oh, yeah, the withdrawal. Shit, how long is that gonna last? 17%. So, oh, that's gonna. Yeah, hey, that's definitely gonna really fuck with her for a while. We're getting hot. You know what we need? We need a uh, Taylor. Tailoring bench. Which creature forever. We need Tailoring. Uh, and Taylor. You there. <laughs> Playing fucking Tetris. 
What's your odds? Oh shit. Weapons. Lizard skin, eater shield. Heavy medium sized shield with the front decoratively covered by leather. Okay, hey, disaster, you've got a shield, but congratulations. <laughs> Cool, I guess. I don't know how that like equip system stuff works. So, Middleton, what are you doing? Leave, dude. D does he think he's stuck? The door's not locked. He can leave. Buddy, you're not trapped. Uh. Is he trapped? Is she trapped? I think she's trapped. Yeah, she's gonna fucking starve to death in here. Is that why she hasn't left? Oh wow, it actually... That's new. Aw, oh, man. Hey, sissy, how you doing? Oh, this is not good for her. Okay, uh... Arrest her. Fuck. Getting really hot. Um... Okay... Oh, you just... Fucking... There we go. <laughs> that fucking deals with that. <laughs> I hope we don't have any relationships with anybody good. <laughs> Not fucking... Just stripper, I guess. And, uh... Finish her off? Who wants to finish her off? Hey, sissy, you do it. Oh, right, we should probably do a mass grave, or do we have to do the individual ones? Yeah. Arch nature. Oh. Some graves. <laughs> Let's make some graves. Where should I put the graves? It's a better question. Like out here. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um... I'm gonna do for her. Oh, yeah. Recreation. Full on recreation. It's until she, like, recovers. Oh, hand tiller bench is done. Okay, um, cowboy hats. We need five of them. And we also need dusters. Five of them. Do we have the materials? Uh, we... Fine. 
too hot, but you're fine. <laughs> See, recreation. Yay. Oh, dear God. Okay. Well, um, we really not have batteries yet. Okay, 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 let's, let's. Interesting. Some uh, extra options. Well, I guess we'll do that. Maybe this. Put it here. So I guess this means I don't have to dismantle the wall, unlike these, which are like part of the wall. The, like wall pieces themselves. Are you a corpse yet? Output of this thing. Uh, 500. These are 400. Oh, it's not enough to power this. Let's get a get a windmill set up. I'm gonna need more stuff. It's fine. Hmm. Hmm. One of these. Do fucking concrete or some shit. Yeah. Draw ourselves a conduit. All the way through here. Purple abuse. Fuck. Well, well, okay. Is she abusing the cat? <laughs> Is that what she was doing? Any more steel. That's the thing we're currently lacking. Uh, there's some here. Where else do we got it? Uh, oh, right here. We also don't have any goddamn leather, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start hunting. Start fucking hunting. Boy, howdy, are we gonna start hunting? What? 
Oh. Oh, come on. Fight him back. Fuck him up. There we go. Idiot. Fucking... You got a knife. I hit him with a... Who's doctor? Alright. Uh, we finished a sculpture. Is that our first one? Wow, it's shit. But it has 68 beauty. Uh, Juliet's family background. Illustration of Juliet Gray placing Nami Middleton's body within a grave. Wearing a dead expression. Dynamic structure looks with its unoriginal style. Hmm? First, so Juliet laying Milton to rest. Was that the... I can't fucking be bothered to remember who I killed. Alright, we'll install that. Like here. This area is looking fucking shitty. There's all the dirt. Also the blood. Okay, someone needs to be on cleaning duty. Who's got the bitch job? Uh, disaster. Actually, probably K. Because these other guys have crafting jobs that are set to their top priority. Oh yeah. Eat! Don't make me babysit yet. It's starting to get really hot in here. Talia's doing much better now. Becca Knights haven't really done anything though. They're still there. Disaster's fucking kicking ass. He's he's loving whatever the hell he's doing. Flying in bed. I shouldn't have bed rest set to the absolute priority. He's gonna be here for a while. Yeah. I'm gonna be good with a hatchet against these gazelles. <coughs> Let's find out. Fuck. Yeah, well, of course they're gonna fucking fight you back. You're hitting them with this fucking hatchet. There you go. Oh, he's gotta get healed again, but there you go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's bring bed rest back up now that I think about it. Hmm. You're not mining. Yeah, that, that catharsis is like the only thing keeping her afloat. Seems like we successfully made a cowboy hat at least. Or disaster got that off of a corpse. He's still recovering. He's almost done, though. Okay, 
taking home some food, and we're making some leather, which we're making into hats. Armor Smith. Do I have any of those guys with the, the trading stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, but she's in withdrawal, though. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Ah, we're still getting a... Nah. A little bit of a bonus, maybe. Oh, Paka's pregnant? Shit. Did not know that. Oh, we have we have a wood sculpture somewhere. Uh, I don't think I want any of this. Do I? But I have eight hundred silver. I can afford something, but I don't know. I know this is very good. Oh, you know what? I can sell. I can sell our our shit. What else do we got? Uh, these. Got it. Okay. Corpses! Oh, uh, boy. Who have we trained? Oh, we've trained tameness into the alpaca. Very tame now. So there's a wood sculpture too, which is awful, which is a beauty of negative 10. So we are fucking deconstructing that. That actively subtracts from the look of something. What? Okay. Interesting looking muffles. Who? Idiot. <laughs> yeah, maybe the melee characters should not be on hunting. Where's hunt? There it is. It's not. Not have you hunt. Uh, well, disaster as well. It's just a bad idea. You just keep getting hurt. And it's way too hot. Um, we have wood. We have wood. Make some like natural coolers. Uh oh. Uh, speaking of wood, yo. Uh, hey buddy. To refuel that asshole. That one's been refueling. Where's the wood? We have wooden storage. What are you doing? Big axes. I need you to clean this room entirely. Someone has to do it. You're on break because of your nanite shit. Oh, cool. Oh, disaster's female. I didn't even notice. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, disaster. First name. Dean. Well, that's why. I'm a, I identified that as a masculine name. Nobody's mining. Nobody's mining. Let's crank mining up. There it is. Mine. Mine, guys. Mine. My, my priority list is fucked up right now. I'm not managing it properly. 
No one's installing this, like, for some reason. Is that, like, a basic? That's not basic. Uh, is that construction? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, there's a lot of, like, continuous tasks going on right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calling. I mean, I prefer she'd be cleaning over hauling. You know what? We need somebody to be cleaning. Oh, she's actually mining. Look at that. Although she's like fucking dying. Uh, so these cowboy hats are giving us a little bit, but it's not enough. Also, holy shit, yeah, we're building um passive coolers. We'll replace these with something a bit better later, but for now we need anything, honestly. Wow, we're even struggling for, uh, over here. Wow, it is so fucking hot. What the hell? Wait, hold on. I need to disallow animals. Um. You disallow animals from there. to stop people from, like, opening and closing doors so much. That's gonna mess with our food. It, it is excessively hot inside right now. Yeah, we very much need to do something about that before everyone dies of a heat stroke. Because it seems like... Okay, we've got some dusters now. So we're starting to do okay. But... It's still too much. And no one's performing. Is this a basic thing? Is basic include refueling torches? That's bed rest. Basic. That construct? That maintain torches? Hmm. Is that like cleaning or hauling? Whoa. Refuel fuelable buildings. Yeah, that's hauling. I think. We have wood! Why are we not doing the shit? I need to add end tables uh, to the beds as well. Forgot about that. That's affecting um, that's affecting their quality. Okay, yeah, these rooms aren't symmetrical anymore. There's no uniformity left. It's just kind of haphazard. That's fine. Uh, our construction needs to go up, I think. Our other stuff needs to go down. I brought mining up to one. Let's turn that down to two for these guys. Actually, Talia should not be doing mining. Talia really shouldn't be doing mining right now. It is, it's hard for me to find where this stuff is because it's sideways. All the text is sideways. Oh yeah, stop. Oh, and... You know what? 
That's the best case scenario. You just be, do you, Talia. Yo, uh, prioritize these fucking coolers, please. Like, holy crap. Oh, now it's a disaster. I need to let them bury the corpses. Because I keep seeing the corpses. I have no components. I have no components. One of my problems. Okay, so somebody has a passive cooler, and it's doing really well. That's about it. Is he under a work frenzy? Yeah. There we go. Oh wait, prioritize constructing this shit, because that'll make our thing actually run. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> being obscured anymore? Wait, what? The squirrel? Oh, it's this squirrel. Fucking... Shoot. It's the squirrel. There you go. Good job. Good job, sissy. You did it. You beat the squirrel to death with your gun. <laughs> and you're gonna die in a day if you don't get treated. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody's researching. Tali, how long are you gonna be catatonic for? Okay, for a while. All right, so we're starting to cool off. That's good. It's gonna help everybody's mental health out. It's a rough summer. At least our, our food production seems to be okay. Generally. That's good to see. Finally! Finally, battery! All I wanted. There we go. Oh shit. Oh, it's the alpaca. Oh god, that's the pregnant one, isn't it? Well, that sucks. Uh, who's our doctor? Sissy is our doctor. 
into the alpaca. Is that 10 quality? 16%? Okay, it'll survive. Still and the cats do it okay, I guess. No one's refueling these torches still. Guys, want to uh, refuel the torches or? No. Eclipse. That's fine. We're not using solar. Do they have light when they're playing horseshoes. All oh, right, all of these, yeah. I can cancel those for now. Killing you, idiot. Getting fucked up by rats. So we've got horses and koalas and raccoons and rats and. Very interesting ecosystem. Almost done with all that bullshit construction I've queued up. Almost. Oh, someone finally put this in here. How are we looking? We're looking okay. There it is. Someone impressive, someone rich, very spaceful, neutral, slightly dirty. Not that bad. Not great, but you know. Oh, well, this isn't fuel. Fuel that. If we don't fuel that, we die. There we go. Now we have this cooler here, which is going to help maintain this area. At a nice temperature. Also make it easier to maintain this. Because these open up. Into each other. Uh, oh, we need research. Um... Do we have turrets yet? No, we don't. Right, let's work on that. Get our uh, gunsmithing up. Frozen, that's good. Let's turn up the amount of meals we have at any one time, because we spend a lot of time, like... Are you still fucking catatonic? I guess it's for the best that she's catatonic. Because she can't have other things wrong happen to her in that, that, time, that period of time. Alright, I gotta like... Floors. <laughs> Everything's like moved slightly, it's hard for me to see where shit is. Oh shit. Get struck by lightning, folks. Apples. Oh, someone finally deconstructed. What else I can do? Professors.
These wear off faster in the rain. Yes, they do. Okay. Rain uh, burns the lifespan of torch away. That's notable. Harvest coming in. 38 days, 34 days. Alia is still in a coma. Feeling a bit depressed. Apparently she's been having nightmares. Let's make, uh... Get some pants and some shirts. Oh shit! Talia woke up. Interesting day it's become. Still got that mechanite withdrawal. Yeah, fire. <laughs> now she's gotta go fight a fire. It's been a coma for like a month. Oh, the pack got burned. Oh, the flu, right. Oh, uh, the, the mod, mod visualizes the progress. That's cool. That's a usable statue. Good for morale. Oh, what about you? You're terrible. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck him up. Animals bonded. There we go. Team fight now. Nice. Uh, it says here, you are a doctor? Yes. Uh, uh, I need animal, animal spot. No, animal spot. The cat. <laughs> the, oh, wait, K. Eh, K is okay. Cat's about to fucking die, though. Go on, Dylan. Dylan... Dylan's gonna be okay. Dylan's okay. No one's hauled these rocks yet. Good to know. You don't have, like, the... the the point that the text is tied to, it doesn't load on the screen. The, like, location of the object is, like, here. If that goes off screen, those are the text. That's interesting. What are we all doing? Bearing bodies? Yep, that's what we're doing. Normally I treat a graveyard like this, like my colony's kill count. Uh, but these these were just these bodies just fell out of the sky, so they don't really they don't really count towards that. Uh, we need components. I see some components there. Do we have any? Oh, we do. We have like thirty. Okay, we do actually have components. Out here thinking we didn't. Oh, okay. Recreation. Eight without table? Oh no. The 
these. Silver or silver? Okay. Excuse me. I'm just crunching fucking paper up. Okay. We're doing pretty well for ourselves overall. Uh with the exception of all of our mental health, but you know, whatever. Win some, you lose some. Dang, who fucking died? Oh, both the alpacas. Or one of them? There's a dead cougar? The fucking alpaca rip his jugular open? <laughs> or you. Wait, I can check, actually. Alpaca crump. Yeah, wow. Alpaca buddy went down dying. I mean, went down fighting. <laughs> he died, but. You know? She's, she's still one catharsis expiration away from having another attack but we're getting there we're slowly getting there you been on yeah it's just these target a lower temperature of like 17 degrees all well, this is targeting 21. Let me check. It's been like two hours since I've checked any of my messages. Hold on. I need to like make sure I'm still alive. I'm still alive, that too. Okay. Sorry about that. Back to the game. A visitor. This guy. Uh, what's he got? A hammer? Stats. The grounder. Sounds pretty good. Ooh, I should get a whole colony of these dudes for like a an underground base. That's something to think about for later. Yeah, are those like mushrooms I saw at one time? Oh, okay, they've like reset their growth. They're like doing their own life cycle. Um, you know what? Let's deconstruct some of these. We can get ourselves a lot of steel. Although it'll mostly produce slag, but still. Uh, that'll be a good source of just everything, really. I am all for more shit. Although, like, this is a pretty a humble base. So far. Not, like, too much crazy. Ooh, look at this. We got a good sculpture. Dawn bubbles. Lingrid's grave while gazing at a faraway mire in the distance. The town is covered with snow. The composition is rectangular, even though it's a circle. Uh, inside a township built near a street. Oh god, I'm like hiccuping. Uh, this image relates to Juliet's laying bubbles to rest on the 7th of Chukas. One of these mini nameless corpses, which I guess has a name. Oh, that's a lot. Let's stick it in the dining room, I guess. 
People will like that. And you know what? You know what else we can do for the dining room? We can make it more of a recreation room. Make a, uh... Group's too big. Like a chess table. Gift. Kite shield. Oh. Okay, I need that one. Uh, equip as shield. What's our pregnant alpaca doing? Well, blue immunity. And, uh, late stage pregnancy. Alright. I don't know how much longer that's gonna take, but... Maybe soon. Have we ever harvested wool from this guy? I assume we have. I haven't been keeping track of that, actually. Not at all. We got tattered a failure. The pale water. Uh, pants. Gloves. We'll just get rid of the gloves, you don't need those. Pants, though. The fucking pants, too. Specifically the gloves. Okay. Um... Who else? Talia? Yeah, the... Working on that. But, oh yeah, she's got unhappy nudity, right? Well, let's see. What's our stuff looking like? Yeah, we still have these queued up. You need to kill more shit. Um, rats aren't gonna do it. Kind of don't want to kill the apacas. Unitarium. Excuse me. What the fuck are you? Lunatherium. This is from Megafauna. Long extinct giant mammals. Very primitive giant cousin of the rhinoceros. Oops. Uh, it is neither the most beautiful nor the most intelligent animal in history, with its brain being merely the size of an orn. But it can make up for it with a strong back, which renders it a good partner on a journey. And it's guaranteed to tear me to shreds if I try to hunt it. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. I kind of don't trust my colonists to uh, hunt any animal that has a chance to get revenge. I just fully expect them to like die. Uh, this is dormant. That's good. This will go like undormant if we try to uh, like deal with that infestation. Otherwise, it's just kind of an environmental detail. God, this, this Mechanite's withdrawal is going to take forever to resolve itself. Okay, so we're finally upgrading some of these bedrooms. Very good. A little bit of lag. Probably noticed that. Oh yeah, the passive coolers have run out of uh, wood. In fact, we've run out of wood. We need to go on another uh, uh, lumbering adventure. Fuck, animal treat, stop doing that. I'm not even using the animatory, I just don't want to chop it down. In case I decide that I want to. Although it seems like he can build an artificial one if he need to, but... I don't know. I should really look into doing, like, a mysticism sort of thing with the tree.
Uh oh, are we still frozen? Yeah, we. Oh yeah, we got the battery. We're fine. The backup battery is gonna burn down for a bit. Pretty quickly. I can see the knock-on effect of these not working. It's making everything else, like, hotter. Actually, not really. It's just everything has its own room. But this one, particularly, is hotter. It doesn't have a passive cooler in, in the first place. Uh, yo, uh, let me guess. Crop sprout. Oh, shit, look at that, yeah. Let's, um... Let's do that thing you do. Oh wow, Dylan the cat lost his tail. When did he lose that? Oh well. Wait, is that another one? No. Talia, are you gonna wake up? I guess I have her set to just recreation. So she'll sleep as long as she wants to. Normal. Raid. Oh, our first raid. Wow, it's been like two hours and this is our first raid. Group of settlers are attacking immediately. Ray bandits. What's that? Explosive sack. Okay, Molotovs, gun, auto pistols, or combat handgun. Ease. Okay. These guys aren't fucking around. All right, who is combat ready? Talia. Um. Everyone looks like they're combat ready. Uh, we have a line here we can set up at. They have their own cover. Hmm. Or we could hang out over here. I'll go this way. Okay, okay everybody. You there. You, there, you two. Here. Talia, hide. Now. Okay, she's down. She is going to die, maybe. Oh, uh, where are you going? I don't like that at all. Aiming. I have Juliet back up. Oh, she's dead, yep. Well, Talia was kind of a burden. Honestly, but that addiction of hers. Um, I'm gonna rush them. Got these guys. This dude. These two are gonna throw explosives at us until you get killed. Like, like the the Molotov and the explosive sack units are going to continually lob shit at us. Let me. They're gonna continually lob shit at us. Uh, which is going to flush us out of cover. And uh, that's bad. Uh, I've already got Juliet moving away because it looks like this Molotov is land right here. Which is going to light this whole fucking area up. Which is pretty bad. Um, Sissy's going to have to move too because of all this like brush that's going to catch on fire. Um, as for our melee units... Fuck. Okay, this is bad. Um... Because they've got two range, they've got, they're all ranged. So these guys can run out here. 
But I don't, I don't really know what to expect. It's explosive sack. That's that's basically a Molotov. Uh. <clears throat> oh, but oh, but this unit's a brawler. What does that mean for them, brawler? Okay, so I can I can bum rush this guy. Uh, but I'll be open up to these guys. I guess we really just have to do it. Honestly. Okay, disaster's down. Disaster's dead. Disaster's dead. I, I just have to accept that disaster is dead. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, fuck, Juliet's fucked. Juliet's completely fucked. Run. Sissy's fucked too. That. You like Adam Molotovs? Oh no, you picked up some bottles. Wait, what? Now you have beer? You swapped out for beer? Are you gonna hit? Are you gonna use the beer as a melee attack? Oh fuck, the wall came down. Oh my god, he is using it as a melee. Fuck. Fuck, they're gonna kidnap. Shit. Shit. Ali is dead. Disaster's getting dragged away. Kay is getting dragged away. Juliet has to rescue Sissy right now. No, no, stop. Fuck. Not the range. No, you don't. Fuck you, bitch. Get over. Stop that. Stank bitch, don't you fucking take her. I have no. no shoot. Get her back. Oh god. Oh god, okay, maybe. 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 Yes! Holy shit, okay. Rescue her now! Oh boy. Oh my god. Elephant tusk. Okay. Jesus Christ. Well, that was pretty bad. At least, uh, as far as I can tell, Juliet and Sissy are our best colonists. So, well, Disaster was actually one of our best colonists. Um,. Juliet, really, you've got three hours left, but you got a ten. Um, fuck. Okay, man in black. All right. Uh, hey, man in black. How you doing, Palf? Who are you? What's your story? Gourmand. Fuck. Cannibal. Uh, I don't know about that combination. Um. Great memory is good. God. This is bad. This is, this is bad. This is intensely bad. Um, okay, okay, uh, uh. Take that there. And 
Lucky 10. Medic pen. Fucking. Come on. Medical. It's Q. Got three hours. Can you move, Julia? Sissy? No, you can't. Okay. Uh. Quickly now. Quickly now. Can you heal? No, I need to. Are you not assigned to medical? Is that what's happening? We're not assigned to medical. That's what's happening. Okay. Fucking tend to her. Falling, tending. Ten, 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 ten. Just get her stabilized. Because she's about to die, and so is Sissy. Okay, three hours? Uh. Okay, just one more. One more tend. Okay, okay, okay. No, not you. Now ten, ten Sissy, because she's gonna die next. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Oh my god! Holy shit! That was seconds! Seconds! Oh my god. Absolutely seconds. Now finish tending to do that. Okay, so we have salvaged what we could from this. Uh, hey. Go. <laughs> Just get him to pick that up. Not a weapon. Drop it. Okay, that's bad. Wow, a tournament. Mm. Sissy needs to be tended to it. So now she has an infection. Minor. What's the 10 quality? Uh, 56%. She might make it. She's gonna make it. It's just barely pulling ahead. Yeah, let me see the green. She's gonna make it. Okay, starvation? Who's starving? Juliet's starving. Okay, dude, you're not... You're not resting until everyone's stabilized. Juliet's probably gonna get infection, too. Yeah, view that art. Well... Whether we like it or not, our uh, whole operation's been scaled back significantly. God damn. Other stuff too. Thank you. Thank you, Louis Paul F Paul Froman. Oh, Juliet's back up. That's nice. She remembers her weapon and then she goes get she goes and gets it. I like that a lot. That's a nice that's a nice mod. Okay.
construct. We lost our botanist, though. That sucks. That sucks a lot. It sucks a whole lot. All right, sissy. Uh she's gonna she's gonna survive. Like she's gonna survive. Who's the cat bonded to? Yep. Let's see. So if the, the person the cat was bonded to vanished, then that would kind of uh, determine Duncan's... Uh, Dylan, excuse me. That would determine Dylan's value to the colony. If no one was bonded to it. I wouldn't have much of a reason of keeping the cat around. Ooh, an excellent end table. Well. So we've learned today... This colony was not prepared at all to receive uh, enemy combatants. So let's actually make some skylights. Let's make some security. Where's that? It's hard to find the buttons because they got moved around. Security. Sandbags, we don't have cloth. Let's do barricades, I guess. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, I can make a holdout like right here. And set up a door or something. I can unsuspend that. Minor break. Because he is able to walk. Is that distance getting closed or is that maintaining the distance? I can't tell. Trader, uh, who is our talky 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 person? It's the man in black. No, oh, hey, it's some fox people. Who can kind of wear the hoods, but not really. Oh, but... But their leader is like a human? Weird. Foxman. And a human. Okay, uh... What do we got? Yeah, Dylan's worth a pretty penny. Ever I need to unload somebody. Ever sissy gets got. Hello. Normie. Oh, uh, what else do we need? Get some leather. What would that be? Oh, that's the wrong one. Be that. Because I I need some leather. Vanilla animals expanded. Cats and dogs. Vanilla animals expanded. Cats and dogs. Mega Wolverine. Uh, okay. Yeah, buy some dog leather. Life, you gonna haul it? Where did it end up? Oh. I know, I know. Everyone is dead and life is terrible. <laughs> Fucking it be like that sometime. Finish the sculpture, apparently. Nice. 
in there. Getting better. Medical emergency. But she's been tended. Okay, she'll be fine. You should be fine. She'll survive. Got a lot of blood still all over the place. Oh, buddy, while you're at it, feel that because we're running out of power. Sissy is back in action. Gotta wait for this disease to go away. And then it's just all the uh, the gunshot wounds. <laughs> but Juliet's just about back. Oh, good. She hated Talia. That's nice. Um, A lot went wrong, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and just play it as it is. Gift, bonus, lovely. It's our schedule stuff. Agent break. Eat. Eat something. Or just start smashing shit. She's going to generate some uh, construction experience for us, at least. Ooh, an excellent chair. Very nice. Oh, right. I need to uh, allure. Look at these extra floors we have. See? Wood floors. Try this. One's like the most expensive wood floor I can make. Let's let's give it a shot. Curious. We have more trees. Yeah, we have more trees that are set to be harvested still. Oh right. Uh hey, haul that gun. Probably a better gun than any of us have. Hey, do you actually have a weapon, sir? You do. Uh. Skirt. Oh my god. Fucking squirrel. Can I follow the squirrel? Oh. Oh, okay. 
Okay. He's not mad anymore. It's good. Stable health. It's stable health. Oh yeah, look at that. How's that look? Two beauty instead of neutral. That's pretty good. Not as maybe not as good as some of like the the stone ones you can make, but that's still pretty good. the music in this game. All the new stuff they added is really good. Some people to rescue. Arlene Sullivan. Age 16. 58 days. Bio. Canis. Mechanist. Uh, shooting, crafting, Intellect, that's generally good. She's kind of unremarkable. Uh, plus she's kind. Ooh, and she's an ascetic. How about you? Skilled medic. Fuck. Good. Wait. You're skilled medic, but you have no medical skill. And you're a gourmand, and you're a prude. Maybe we'll only rec rescue uh, Sullivan here. I don't know. Maybe we'll just rescue one of them. Sullivan seems nice. I don't know about you, though. You're a weird man. I don't like you. exists outside of us. Not that we'll ever really see it. How do I close this map? There it is. That looks interesting. Uh, it's a little visually busy, and you can see the artifacting on the texture. How it's all like compressed or whatever. But otherwise, it looks good. You zoom out; it adds texture to the area. Although it makes like this text impossible to read. These mods weren't really intended to be compatible with each other. Hey, it looks like we're almost back on track. You're full. Ah. Less than bad. Very smart. This game is intensely relaxing when everything isn't going completely terrible. Like, I, I'm having a hard time just commentating like 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 this is one of those things where i was expecting to like talk about a lot of other unrelated stuff but i've kind of just let myself fall into the groove of it you know i mean like after the week i've had it's kind of needed to have something i could just melt away into you know this is a normal high quality handgun i just sworn there's a normal quality one somewhere Oh, 
Okay. A bunch of factions that don't like me. Don't like me more now. Because I haven't done anything to make them like me. Got it. Sullivan doing? He's doing okay. I'd like to see your join. All of our clothes are in tatters, though. But yeah, what's the... Oh yeah, we're making... We're starting to make some clothes. Got a dog leather duster working up here. I don't think we have enough leather still. But hey, a pack of one finally gave birth. Uh, how is our rice doing? Our rice is doing okay. Um, we should probably move our rice over here, actually. Alpaca number two. Yeah, they are. Another female. Have we ever collected wool from you? No, maybe. <laughs> Because, like, I haven't seen the wool turn up if we've been collecting wool from the alpacas. That singular. Oh, uh, you know, I think I know how alpaca one got pregnant. Fucking wild animals can have, like, can mate with your tamed ones. That's interesting. That's actually pretty convenient. Because that means you only have to tame the female of a pack. And over time, you'll just, like, produce pre-tamed offspring from that female. Fuck, that would make the, the boom rat memes even easier to start. Dear God. Oh, rotting corpse? Is there a rotting corpse we have disallowed? No. Well, do something about it. But just... Complain about the rotting corpse. Do something about the rotting corpse, dude. <sighs> Whatever. We should... We probably, like, expand a bit. All this shit's ready to be harvested, and no one's harvesting. We just certain skill level to harvest? Or what? Because what we've got. What do we got? It was that a robot? Uh infantry engineer is calling from nearby. He has deserted the Imperium and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. Silink and Neuroformer. Oh shit. Two of them! Oh, okay. So, I'll get a colonist after a combat, and then after that combat, I'll have a quest to go to an outpost somewhere. If it's not too far away, I might actually do it, but... I don't know. I've never really done caravan stuff. Uh, but you know what? We could use an extra pair of hands. What are you? Okay, you're just a human. You just look weird with your hair. I thought you were, like, not human. Uh, what do you got? <laughs> Quick sleeper. Psychically deaf. Oh, man. Wow, this person's amazing. Holy shit, look at them. Wow. And they've got a fucking Uzi. Uh, oh, wow. Damn, I lucked out. He's fucking great. Death acidify. What?
Oh. Okay, so this is just, it wipes her inventory if she dies. Okay. That's interesting that, that's the, can I get rid of that? No. Okay. Shit, alright, we got a really good colonist. Uh, that's... You... Green. Green. Cool, whatever. Uh... Let's do... Okay, whatever. Um... Basic... Handle... Whatever, hunting, fishing, construction. Dang, you're good at everything. Cool. Alright, go on, get. Get or. Yeah, bury them corpses. Oh, right, that. Uh, is it just this guy? Let me guess, he has a- yeah, he has one. Cause like, wait a minute. What if I arrest him? Cause it's- it's only if he dies, right? On the user's death. So, if I manage to down him without killing him, I can take his battle rifle. Okay. Well, let's see how well this plays out. Uh, I probably want to move everyone... ...like, up here. Sir! Oh, wow. Okay, you're out of range. You're all out of range. Oh, no, he... Oh, wow, nice hair, dude. Yeah, he, he, he's fucking down. He went down, like, immediately. Uh, who got shot? Sissy got shot? Ooh, she got shot, all right. Shit, dude. Oh, there. Some UI is bugged out right now. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, we saved, uh, what's her face? These highlights are annoying, though. Well, I guess they have weird squares around them now. Such as it is. Mm. News of peace. Fascinating. I guess you can just use whatever the hell as a melee weapon if you really wanted to. Sullivan's still recovering. All of my torches have gone out. Is, um... Am I gonna do anything about that? No? Maybe?
Oh, did I get it to stop doing that? Oh, no, now it's... Oh, no, no, it's kind of just broken. Fuck, oh, I, I, yeah, that, that overlay's broken. Yo, what the fuck happened to all the torches? Dude. Hey, fuel. Working in the dark, you idiot. Whose job is that? The fall under. That hall? Must be hall, right? That's like refuel fuel buildings. Tell me if I like click on fuel. If I do automatic fuel, not telling me what skill it is. Hold on, this is annoying. I want to see if reloading this is going to save. If reloading this is going to fix that. Let's try. Unless I just crashed my game. It looks like it's frozen. Yep, oh, it's frozen. Oh, there we go. Because I want to see if I can get rid of that, um... That, like, visual bug. Or it's showing me the range of their weapon. And it's not going away. Because, like, that's going to annoy me. A lot. If uh, it's stuck like that. Like, I, I was dealing with, um, like, Desire Paths doing a similar thing last night when I was testing this. So, having that... Okay, it looks like it's fine now. I mean, that keep happening would have been, like, misery incarnate, man. Speaking of, are we gonna fix the... Really, like, what job is that? Is it construction? Because there's people queued for construction. There's also Taylor, Jailer, Warden. Blah, blah, blah. Is it hauling? Is it really hauling? Like, like, okay, but if it's hauling, then that means Sissy shouldn't do it. Yeah, okay, it is hauling. All right, I've confirmed it's hauling. So someone needs to be set to hauling as top priority. Oh, this one's doing art. Alpha's doing art. Maybe Juliet? I guess. I guess the problem is I have so much stuff set to priority number one that like hauling is just not getting done at all. Which is why everything's gone dark. Really what I should be doing is buffing uh, my power production and starting to use uh, electric lights, which I should have. Do I have that? Yeah, I've got those. Lamps. Lovely. Oh lord. Doesn't say. Anything. Well, I guess they don't say it all, do they? Ooh, wall lights. Ooh, look at that. How much do these burn? Thirty watts. What about these? These are like two hundred. When they're active, they're two hundred. And I'm producing from this. This produces nothing because no one's hauled anything to it. All right, who would I? Did I make Juliet resident hauler? Juliet's too busy chopping stuff down. All my priorities were in place, but then, like, a colonist dies and, like, three other ones get kidnapped, and all of a sudden, the whole stall of society is collapsed. At least someone's refueling the... this. There we go. Now we are getting there. Everyone's gonna freak out, because there's no... goddamn lights anywhere. Also, no one's harvesting the rice. We're gonna run out of rice. Oh no, no, we have a lot of rice actually. Oh, good. 
Uh, you know, I built this here, but I really need to build a defense here. In fact, I'm going to queue that up. I'm just going to queue that up, even though it's not going to be done in time for... Wait, will it? Okay, actually, I can. Okay, hold on. Um, security. Do that. And what is it? Shield. Which about that? Um, structure. You know what? Uh... That's fine. Okay, everybody fucking do that. Or just like two people, whatever. Okay, good, good. They're all doing it. Where are these raiders at? They're just fucking around. There's just two of them? Check. We got a guy with a good combat handgun, auto pistol. Is that night vision? It is. Dang. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna want this guy's gun especially. And the flak pants. Tim? Is the leader of their faction? He and his buddy just showed up to like kick our door in for some reason? We're all equipped with weapons, correct? Well, most of us. That's a headless corpse. Who ate that man's head? Which one of you ate his head? Okay. Uh. Alright. Everybody, action! Uh, Sissy, what's your health at? Uh, that's not your health. That's your health. You're doing okay. I think we'll be fine. All right. Coming in. One of them is taking a long way around. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, holy shit. Okay, that actually might have been perfect. Now I've enraged this pack of fucking horrifying monsters. And they just might help me out here. Alright, we've done it. Uh... Dear God, what have we done? Uh... Who's got a shitty gun? Who wants to go out there and grab that other gun? You've got a shitty gun. Well, go get that. Oh my god. Is he gonna knock the door down? Oh, he's totally gonna knock that fucking door down. Holy crap. Okay, 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 sissy's baiting. No, don't shoot the wall, you idiot. Okay, good, good, good. Gotta manage the situation properly. Sullivan, are, do you think you're trapped here? Because you're not. You can, like, leave if you don't want to join us. That's an option, you know. Alright, is there psychic animal abilities? Yep. There we go. Shooting at this guy. How much damage can these dudes take? This guy's got... Lot of health. Maybe if we like lead him into the woods. Cause I, I I can move and shoot at the same time with one of these mods. Yeah, that's actually a really good choice. I'm getting tons of fucking hits on this dude. Wow, look at this guy. Whoa! These things are tanks! What the fuck? Man, it's a good thing I, like, accidentally shot one of these guys. I mean, it's a bad thing, but... Okay, let's keep our distance. Wait, 
Ben didn't have the ability to move and shoot at the same time, I would be fucking dead. We would all be dead. They're not even dead, they're just downed. Holy shit. Look at how many gunshots these guys have taken, and they're still, like, not dead yet. That is madness. A leaf, buddy? I'm gonna make sure that guy doesn't starve to death like the other rescued dude did. That one's dead. Allow that. Dear God, the amount of punishment these monsters are capable of handling. That's the last one. Oh, one of them got back up. I'm gonna die though. Only a matter of time. Well, by the looks of these guys, they have enough meat to feed us for a very long time. Uh, so I think we're good. I think it's- I think this is a good thing that happened. Ultimately. <laughs> Even though Sissy's having a bad time with it. I should- Get those corpses. See, are you alive? You're not maddened anymore. Okay, now you're dead. How many times must I shoot you? Wow, the game like chugs if I have that menu open because he's just taking so many bullets. Sissy, can you not stand exactly that spot? I can finish him off. Alright, who else is alive? Shit, well we've got our food for the rest of forever now. I mean like I, I these 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 must have a lot of meat inside of them, right? Oh right, this guy. D do his goggles have like the dead man tag on them? Shit, yeah, they do. They do. How you doing, sissy? No one got injured. No one got injured. That whole thing. Just pre-existing injuries. Pickaxe. Okay. Oh, good job, guys. You handled that one really well. Oh, yeah, she literally can't get out. Fucking idiots. Absolute buffoon. Why does the AI think they're trapped inside of my base? Antisocial. That's that's perfectly fine. So who's assigned to cooking? Or merchant. Hmm. Hey, Pyfe, you want to, like, haul some of these giant monsters to our freezer? Because, uh, they're going to feed us for a long time. 
We want to make sure we take advantage of this. In fact, uh, what are you doing? You're refueling stuff. I want you to... Oh, are you too weak? Okay, you can hold that one. How about Juliet? Juliet's chopping wood. Uh, let's get her to haul something. Oh wait, is she, is she incapable of hauling? Yeah. She's incapable of hauling. God, look at this. Oh my god. Uh, hey, Pife. Oh. Continue hauling. <laughs> so, like, if none of my colonists could actually haul these things, would I have to, like, create a butcher spot? Like, on top of that dead animal? Just like that's how that would work. Okay. Okay, you fray. You fran. Oh, that guy. I like one, one, two more left. We're gonna spend a lot of time butchering these guys. Or fucking go. Ah. Uh. Yo, are those kangaroos? Proctopo. Procoptodon. Long extinct giant mammal. Largest known kangaroo to. That is a kangaroo. Okay, they can punch really hard. <laughs> Noted. Uh oh. Oh no. My meat. Shit. Uh, what if I forbid these? How long will it last if it doesn't have the cooler on? Not very long. All the times for that to happen. Oh, god damn. I mean, I'll continue forbidding these. So they can stay refrigerated at least. Look at that. It's it's basically not worth it. Oh, all of my meat. My meat. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. We're being raided. Uh, tribes people... That's easy. They're tribes people. Oh, fuck. That one's riding a doe. Just two of them, though. They recognize how not wealthy I am. Oh. I guess I'm getting kind of wealthy. Let's see. Are they attacking immediately? They are. They're going for the cooler and... That. They're attacking this area. So they've decided to hook around this way. Uh. Well, Lower Flare is the last thing I have on my mind right now. Like, it, would there be one of these that is immune to Solar Flares? Because, like, if something's purely mechanical, you'd think. Nah, whatever. If there was some way... Excuse me? Oh, it's 9 degrees outside, and this technically counts as inside. Just wondering. Does that mean it's getting hotter in here? I guess because it's insulated and there's torches and stuff. Uh, everybody! Sorry, but you have to wake up again. Some of you are arrested. I know. They come in this way? Okay, yeah, they've decided to come this way now. So he's got like a bow, and this guy's got a tomahawk or something. Aha! Fucked him up already.
Somebody got hit. Oh. <laughs> Yo, we got friends! I forgot, we have a whole gang of people just chilling with us. Sweet. That beer? Some fucking weed? Nice. Guy okay, too. Uh, what does he have on him? Nothing worthwhile. Let him go. He'll probably die. Alright, that was quick. And relatively painless. Who are you? <laughs> Some other dead man. Oh, thank God. My meat. My precious meat. Oh, did we miss hauling one of these? Yeah, we did. Hey, uh, haul that for me, please. And of course, we're immediately getting high. I think keep in mind, whatever's on this character when she dies, gonna like rot. Uh oh yeah, didn't I find a um an outpost? Because I rescued her. A double tournament outpost. It's this one enemy of the Imperium. Oh, it's this one. I've got like fifty-seven days. Okay, uh... It could be cool to get those, because I don't have like the weird royalty shit tied to it, if I uh, get it from here. It would require me to form a caravan and travel all the way over here, though, and I don't trust myself to be able to do that, because I've never done that, because I'm an idiot. Check and stuff, sorry. Sissy is in a great mood. Oh, right, the catharsis. Wait, did she get shot? I didn't even think of that. Someone's not hauling. <laughs> Our haulers. Top priority. I've got other stuff that's still tapas to stir, like cooking. But this is set to like 30, so this he will eventually stop cooking meals. We've just been behind on our quota. I have still have all these trees that have queued up. And all this wood, too. Wow, like a thousand wood out here. Okay, okay. Office hauling. He's just not very good at it. Probably because I have like the, the deep stack mod, so like stuff takes up less space, but like I'm used to my stockpile being like huge and just full of crap. But everything's like really extreme. Like, you don't have a lot of stuff. 
This doesn't seem like I have a lot of stuff. Like, but there's like a thousand rice on this one tile, so whatever. What a bed. I guess it's work hours, isn't it? Yeah, she's about to be let free for the day, though. Hour 20. How much meat? How much meat does one of these guys yield? 400 units! Wow! That's a lot of meat! And like a ton of leather. Is that like 200 leather per? Yeah, it is. That's like 200 leather per. Oh, yeah, these guys are really bountiful. Dang. That's a lot of meat. I love how much meat that is. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, you're the only one who's not asleep. That's because you're rested. You're... She's doing good. Well, she's doing well. Our research is not coming along, though. Uh, it's probably because... Anyone who's good at researching, I have to have doing other stuff instead. Which is really not helping anyone right now. It's all well. Yeah, that'd be... But he's asleep, I guess. For her. She's uh she's still up. Burying corpses. <laughs> you know, her duty. Hey, okay, hold this. All that. Stuff that's like decaying outside. That's a problem. I could just follow her. Or sissy up. Doing her thing. Making sure we're topped off. Really, it's just relaxing. Yeah, we need some janitorial uh, duties now. Because we've got a lot of trash. And like blood and dirt. Like, dear God, look at all the blood. Oh my God. <laughs> A lot of blood there, too. There's still wood cutting to do. I set a lot of stuff to be cut down. I should be more uh, conservative when I make those orders. You know, I didn't really intend for the base to be just like a rectangle, but I guess that's just what we get, huh? The automatic pistol has a very high DPS. What's the lowest one? The bolt action? Juliet, uh, where's the... Has a much higher DP. Even though the range might not be as good. What could I do with an elephant toss? <laughs> you can kill someone with it. Pass the revolver. Pife? Pife can have. Did I. This menu is great. I love this. This is a fantastic menu, holy crap.
because that's one of those like weird micromanager things that I would have to do uh, by myself. But being able to just like get in there and do whatever with it, like just have that information that I would already be able to find for myself just out there is really useful. Uh, now we just need someone to clean. Try to encourage it. You know what? You can clean this room, right? You freen. You frine. You hold on. <laughs> Gotta figure out how you pronounce that. So the you frine. Is that a word? E U P H R Y N E. P U P H R Y N E. Okay. R. You fry? I like that. I guess that's a name. Okay, yeah, that's like according to Google. According to Google, might not be a real name. I just like change your name to give her a nickname that's easier for me to pronounce. Oh shit, what? Why is there disallow rotten? Oh, do not allow rotten. <laughs> Pife, get that thing out of there. <laughs> Smoke beer, get weed. So much blood. Hey, do you want to clean the hallway up for me? Or just do it until you want to sleep? Prisoners being held by the Imperium. Feel the radio and call us. Camp near Rice Town. Two turrets, one mortar, and two enemies. And there may be an unknown threat. So here, that's closer. Hmm, I don't know. The game really wants me to go adventuring, but I'm so cautious. And I love just turtling in my base. That it's hard for me to, like, decide to do otherwise. Clean that room. We want the freezer to be clean. Still, no one's harvesting, because there's so many trees to cut down. What are those? What are you? Oh, your hitbox is fucked up. But okay. Uh, you are a... Zygolophodon. Long extinct giant mammal. One of the mastodons and owner of some of the longest tusks in history. While more primitive than mammoths, it's bigger, tougher, and more powerful than most of them. It is also heavier than some sauropod dinosaurs. Is there like a unrelated, tangentially related? I have no idea if there's like a dinosaur mod installed. So there's a chance that a fucking T-Rex shows up and kills us, which would be fucking hilarious, but also horrible. Catharsis, man. That catharsis will do a lot for you. Eat without table. Come on, guys. 
defeated hostile leader Tim. We have defeated the hostile leader Tim. He is no more. His grave is around here somewhere. There he is. Shit bastard idiot. Dead. Probably build uh, six more sculptures. Oh, is art unassigned right now? Whose art is this? Is he? What's Sissy's art skill up to? Five. Hey, continue working on it. Animal herder. What are you wearing? Cloth dress? Oh, that's his beard. Okay. Wow, he's a... He's got that, like, Fallout 4 social build shit going on. What's the chance that these horrifying monsters will attack me? Oh, they're... Okay, I figured I'd check. Figured I'd check. Some animal filth. Let me just disallow animals from here. Uh... Manage area. Invert. Zone. Area. Area one. Whole area. There you go. Da -da. Manage. There. And you're all in area one. Good. Reduce some of the filth that's been building up. Don't fucking starve yourself to death. Didn't realize that how much work it would take to finish that. There's no negative statuses except for darkness. Dark in there. It's dark over here. I should probably put a light down, shouldn't I? Uh, it's pretty much totally lit here. Who's fucking up? Oh, the cat. <laughs> is uh, is the cat gonna bleed out? Why is the cat drunk? Why is the cat drunk? <laughs> Who's been fucking feeding the cat beer? Somebody gonna fucking tend to the cat? I guess I do need to have animal spots. Will the cat seek it out? the cat seek out the spot. Nope, the cat's just gonna choose to die. Unless it's seeking out the spot right now. Yeah? Okay. Can't remember who our medic is. It's sissy. This is important so we don't want our cat to die. Or drunk fucking cat. You get the beer. We have beer. This. Go. Nice. Stick that in uh, there. What's the art on this? None. 
Hook number uh nine. I don't know what T is. <laughs> I don't know what Roman numeral T is. Is that like is that like a thousand or like five hundred or something? No, that's like C and uh, M or something like that. I don't know what T means. Unless that literally just says like civet, zivet. Still chopping trees down. Kind of a buffoon. At least these horrible insectoid monsters don't seem to really care about us. Angel building. The Delium Empire is requesting me to build a monument to insult sense of duty of her rival. The mining is 9x8 fires metal, wood, stony, sandstone blocks, granite. Construction must be complete within 11 days. Plus 28. Our current will is 20. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, install. Um. Guess I can put it out by the beach. Might as well have a project to work on. Really should be like, hmm, I want to take a relaxing uh, sit here in this room that's covered in blood. They really should like clean it up because I know I think one of the common sense mods I have makes it so like if someone's trying to research or like work or something, they'll like clean up the space around them directly affecting them. OK, this is built. Uh. Oh, wait, I don't want that. Uh, what kind of shit do I have? I have a lot of marble. Okay, let's see if that works. No, oh, it's like a tomb. Okay. Should have enough marble? It seemed to imply that we did, but I might be misreading that because it looks like we've already. All of our marble has already been added. I could have built this way closer. Oh well. It's a good experience. Uh, I guess I can just, like, do that place thing again, but instead pick a different material, like wood or something, because I have a ton of that. Oh, dear God. From multiple angles. From there and there. So they've got a fella here. I guess. Is it a fire? Yep. Okay, they got this guy. Uh, two guys down here. Ooh, they got shields. Shield belt. Oh. Shield. 
shit plate too, but... Okay, are they attacking immediately or are they preparing? They are preparing. We have a moment. I think holding here would be good. A lot of spots where they can... Well, let me just... There we go. And then let me just fuck all this shit. All this bullshit. There's too much, like, cover for the enemy to hang out behind. What are our needs right now? We'll need food. Okay, everybody. Consume a meal. Everybody needs to eat right now. Gonna wait for them to fucking show up. Oh my god, if these guys get caught in the crossfire and they go on a revenge rampage, we're basically just gonna have a repeat of last combat. Which is kind of terrifying. Uh, Juliet and Sissy don't like Alf. Attack already. Come on. Do it. Yeah. Dylan. Fuck with the cat. Jackass. Oh, cat. Cat. They're gonna kill the they just killed the cat. Those motherfuckers. Where are my alpacas? Alpaca 1, where's alpaca 2? Okay. He's not going for alpaca 2. No, he- oh, and he killed alpaca 2! Great. Alpaca 1! Get home area right Okay, ugh. I don't want to lose... I mean, what am I getting out of the alpaca? You know what? Am I... I guess I am, get I am getting bull, actually. That will be useful in the winter. Okay, let's... Zone. New area. Area 2. In here. Right, alpaca? Area 2. Okay, broke their shield. One of them at least. Fuck him up. This is the one getting hit. Paul's taking a couple hits. Alpaca is pregnant. <laughs> wow. So oh, lucky. Here comes the last guy. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Tri tripper. Quickly. Get back behind the bear. Oh, shit. Got shot. She okay? Uh, for now. I was taking some fucking shots, though. Doing anything. We're out. We can draw a little bit of fire. There we go. Right, everybody, fan out. Uh. Oh, I think you're fucking here. Who are you? Very strange. Um. Okay. 
fucking haul some shit. It's one, two. Are we all set to patient? Yeah, we are. Health is also hit. Uh, we've got it. Okay, let's prioritize. So 16 hours, seven hours. No medium. So what we're gonna do is, oh, right, you ten. We just need to be tending. That's all that matters. Even though it's really shitty. All right. Uh, not great, but we're not dead. And we got some armor from that. A uh, shield belt. Shit. Uh, so yeah, it needs to get patched up. Now Sissy is going to survive, but Juliet's still bleeding. We want to make sure we have that clean. There we go. Of Traveler. Some guys. Got a flamethrower? Dang. Ah, shit. Why am I only, like, able-bodied guys? I want you to haul stuff. Just haul everything you can get your hands on right now. I think we have lots of food. Gourmand. Uh, fucking forgot about that. That's the problem. But, like, whenever he has a mental break, he's gonna just fucking eat all of our food. Kind of terrible. Oh! No! <laughs> okay, uh... Who's our second best medic? Sissy, but Sissy's incapacitated. Valve's not gonna respond. You're kidding me. How close is she to being conscious? Not very close. Okay, um... Calm. Wait, who's got good social? Golf does. God damn it. Whatever, Juliet. Calm him! Okay, Sissy's capable of, uh... Oh, you're going to die. straight up gonna die. Fuck my hand. I have a way to like force him down unless I just kick his ass. I just might have to do. Alright. Time to uh punch him. What I meant to do? I meant to tend.
Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Tracking dirt through my base. Alf, this is your stuff. Okay, good. He's gonna survive. He very well might survive. Because I kicked him in the head. Okay, he'll survive. The absolute idiot. <laughs> absolute idiot that he is. Ooh, it's out here. Oh yeah, the quest. How much longer do I have for that? Nine days? Yeah. I don't think I have blocks for that. Oh, put some pants on. I don't want to force you to wear anything. Just put some pants on, dude. You're surrounded in pants. Your sidearm was beer, dude. There we go. Running low on medicine. Are we going to eat the cat? The alcohol cat? Cool. survive now, thankfully. Baby alpaca going in the fridge. Ah, oh, jeez. Now this is pretty cool without having a... Yeah, why are you cutting trees? To the earth. We need to be constructed. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, whatever. Cut trees. That's cool. Still recovering. It's gonna take her a while. She got really beat up. Really, that's the one with the break risk. That's it? Wow. Cool. Fascinating. Fucking jacket. Which will be great when the winter comes, which I guess is approaching. Oh yeah, it's freezing outside, damn. <laughs> I didn't consider that. Sleeper. Nah. Not looking for slaves.
Be like, can you please? Why is this marble? Wait, does it have to be marble? Uh. Okay, what if I pick limestone? What the one have a lot of? Yeah, okay, yeah, we have enough limestone. Sort of, maybe. Oh, what else do we have? Granite? Looks like enough. Ooh, not that one. This is gonna be an ugly looking building. <laughs> Completely patchwork. Yeah, he's, he's alive. He's starting to look better. All is slightly not bad. We're still covered in blood, but uh, we're surviving. No one's cooking meals, though. I'm surprised we still have the survival meals. Every stone is used. It's getting done, though. I built that one. What other floors do we have access to right now? Lime, sandstone pile, more full. Jade, Jade. To... To what? Oh, that one's not. Still nude. Dude! Put your ass some pants on, dude. All you have to do is put some pants on. Idiot. That's simple. Yo, what is that? Gigantopothecus? Is that a big monkey? Holy shit, it's a big monkey. It left us 136 silver. Wonderful. I want their big monkey. <laughs> It'll never be so, though. A pack of starving? Oh. Oh, it lost the pregnancy. God damn it. I forgot. Alpha and sissy? Really? Okay. Actually, we'll build the double bed. Uh, we'll build it over here, and we'll move it in later. You know, I don't like how it's using cloth material to refill stuff. Don't like that. 
because I won't have an excess of materials to make into clothes. I have to, like, specifically dedicate the time. So we've lost an enemy. That's good. One less uh, faction to worry about. I would like it if you cleaned the inside of the base first. E. There we go. Slightly better. Where did you go? I was finally healed. Maybe he'll put some clothes on. Like, you think unhappy nudity would be enough motivation? To, like... To, to just wear some clothes. You know? Whatever. All right. Dusters, good. It's the pants. We're finally working on the pants and the shirts. Nice. This is technically a bedroom. Because there's a bed in here. It's somebody's job to move that bed. Okay, Sissy's almost healed up. She probably shouldn't still be bedridden, but whatever. Also got this chitin plate. Armor made entirely from neck. What's the, what are the stats on this? Dang, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll give this to... This to fucking new frying. Hell yeah. Now she's kitted the fuck out. What's her stats? Yeah, she can't get sliced. Manhunter pack of what? Bengal cats. Oh. Okay, that's a lot of cats. Uh. Domestic, though. This shouldn't be too bad. How are we all doing sleep wise? I think we're all good. And that alpaca lost the pregnancy on account of the starving to death. Why is that one already rotting? I was rotting. That's that that seems like a bug. Yeah, like that's rotting now. That one's not. Maybe, maybe it's because they're dying in like frozen temperatures or something. That might maybe that has something to do with it. Where like it fucks up and then it thinks that it's rotting when it's actually not doing that at all. Huh. I don't know, but we're gonna eat them cats. Eat all them cats. We're gonna eat our best friend Dylan. We're gonna eat this random rabbit. We're gonna eat the baby alpaca. Hell, we can make the baby alpaca into kibble and then feed it to its mother. <laughs> if we want to be really morbid about it. I'm not going to be morbid about it. Because I'm not going to micromanage that hard.
Oh, I gotta go drink some water. Pack is doing all right. Anything left of this area? Yeah, some of it. Kind of blown to shit though. What? Metal weapons, knives, clay, I mean, it's cool. Because we're working our way up to uh, gunsmithing, machining, then gunsmithing, then. Uh, we want turrets. Sealed weapon. Ooh, that's fancy. Mm. Set up a cremator. Marriage. Dang, that happened really fast. Oh yeah, it harmed me from that time I had her beat you over the head because you were being a fucking idiot. Uh jeez. Dark over here? Ooh. All right, man, we've been going for four and a half hours already. That's a long time. Maybe I'll stop at five, like at 4 p.m. Might be a good idea. Oh, there goes Dylan. <laughs> Sissy chopped her own cat off. Does that give her a debuff? No. Not beyond what she already has. No, wait. That's a decent bet. I don't want to... Let's freeze up some bedroom space. Listen, man. Oh. Alright, this guy isn't starving to death anymore. And... Uh, yeah. Day... Coming up on day 40. We're pretty well established. We've had some horrible tragedies, but like the colony has been able to bounce back and stabilize uh, from those. Like we practically wiped with Sissy and Juliet being the only survivors, but uh, pretty much made a full recovery and we're better off than we were before. Even though we are a bit unorganized and our weapons are a bit lacking, we're working up towards gunsmithing, right? Yeah. Uh, is there better stuff after gunsmithing? Machine pistols and auto pistols and artilleries and shit. Gun turrets. We're looking for specifically. Anything else? Gas operation. Yeah. There's actually a lot of weapon stuff like this, heavy weapons. We'll have to see. Nice. Everyone is uh, feeling better about themselves. I like seeing that. I like seeing the colony 
kind of feeling normal about themselves. Very good. I want to build a second battery. I have a lot of components. Let's actually let's do the sack. Let's build two. Can't expand the zone over the batteries anymore. Guys, this guy. Like sheep people? Elephant people, actually. It's hard to tell. Man with the head of an elephant. True. <laughs> oh, yeah, when they look front-facing, it's really easy to tell what they're supposed to be. Yeah, no shit. Actually, I could probably just check their gear. You know what? Yeah. yeah. Is that a beard? That's supposed to be a beard on his head? It totally is. Uh, yeah, I guess there's some, like, expanded uh, aesthetic customization stuff. That is not very compatible with the uh, the beast tribes. He's very smart. You know what? Do we have access to the upgraded uh, research table? No, we have to research that, don't we? Colony manager. I gotta look into that mod. That mod seems weird. It's like, what would managing entail, you know? I build more of these as well. You can stack windmills closer to themselves than you can with uh, the turbines. I don't know how much windmills produce relative to turbines, though, so there might be like a trade-off. Additionally, windmills can be made with wood and components instead of steel and components, which means they're cheaper. Um, but I don't know. They also might have like less durability and break down easily, and also catch on fire. So I don't actually know what if there's any direct benefits other than you can stack them. It feels like there really should be a drawback if there isn't. I don't really know the stats though. So I can't say, either way. I, wish I, had, I was set up so RimWorld didn't pause when I tapped out. Uh, who do we not have? Everybody's on the screen. Uh, got three unused bedrooms. Like, I might as well just, like, that, 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 that. Just so, like, these aren't getting refueled. Because like, these bedrooms just straight up are not being used, so there's really no point. It's just kind of wasting wood and other materials. Still have a packaged uh, survival meal left. Surprised. That's oh, just gonna open no matter what. He's not asleep, Juliet. Three more hang out in the same spot. We've got a lot of like bulk work that we can uh, get through now. I might want to like start replacing uh, some of these walls, these wooden walls, with some like stone ones. Some marble. Marble is nice looking, apparently. Let's take a look if it tells me the stats. Beauty of one. What if, like, sandstone? No beauty. And, uh, granite? Okay, but marble is beautiful. How much marble do we have? can't tell. 221. Okay, let's, uh, let's just install some marble walls, I guess. Might as well. Uh, install them like that. That. 
that. Might as well just like run it down the sides. Whoopsie. Put it down the sides here like this. Cool. That should increase the ambient beauty of the rooms. Yeah, it does. So what's the beauty at? Neutral. It'll help, it'll help. In the long run. It's also fireproof. So if like parts of the building catch on fire, I don't have to rebuild the entire thing. If I slowly start replacing certain structural elements with uh, stone material. Ah. Winter's here. Not even notice winter was here. Uh, do we have warm enough clothes for uh, Sub Zero weather? 2013, 25, 35? Uh, not really. We're gonna need some jackets. Great dress. Uh, jackets, I guess. Oh, hello, Sprat. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. You know, that, like, actually scared me for a second there. I was like, oh, God, what the fuck was that sound? Uh, <laughs> I just got, like, really in the zone pushing buttons. But hi, yeah, Thanks. <laughs> Uh, I was having one of those, like, moments where, like, I was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm streaming, I'm, like, talking to myself, but, like, I low-key kind of forgot that, like, someone could be watching me right now, so, like, the follow alert just, like, startled me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyway... I'm just playing some room world. I've been at it for I've been at this one save for five hours almost. Well, it's more like four. Our uptime is four hours forty minutes. But it's more like four hours because a lot of that was spent uh either planning or preparing uh before I started the um uh Is there a toolkit? Uh I'm gonna say no, because I'm not sure what you're asking about. Uh, unless it's some kind of, like, bot command or something? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, Sprout. Perhaps further clarifying. Twitch toolkit. Uh, I don't know, like, on, uh, attached to the game? Are you saying? Because I know there's like, uh, there's like Twitch plugins for RimWorld. I don't have any of those on right now. But, uh, I know on OBS, I've got all the little things. I mean, you saw the thing pop up, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have a, that's a good idea. Uh, having the, the RimWorld, like, Twitch plugin. Yeah, I, I think I might try that, uh, at some point. Because that sounds like a really good stream idea. But, uh, for the time being, and you know what? Uh, for the sake of just me not being an idiot, I'm just gonna pull that up really quick. That, uh, the RimWorld, like, Twitch integration thing. Just so I know I have it. Twitch Toolkit, yep, there it is. Uh, I'll subscribe to that. Continue. Wait, did I subscribe to Toolkit Core? I did not do that. Toolkit Core. Subscribe to Toolkit Core. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> News of peace. So yeah, I guess I'll check that out. Uh, lucky you. 
you're following me, which means the next time uh, I'm going to stream RimWorld, that'll most likely uh, be activated. So uh, this is my first time streaming RimWorld, although I have like 200 hours in the game. Um, the only reason I'm streaming this right now is just because my like entire soft streaming schedule got completely ruined because I had like a 30 hour uh, power outage that just sort of threw a wrench in whatever uh, pattern that I had going on. Um, like I was supposed to be doing some like streams with some friends and stuff, but suddenly two whole days goes away and it's like, I don't know what I'm streaming anymore. So fuck, you know, let's just stream some RimWorld. I like RimWorld. I saw uh, Ambiguous Amphibian's video where he was like, here's a bunch of mods, and I went and I found the mod list on Steam. AA's mod list, I think it's called, on the Steam Workshop Collections. Uh, it has all the stuff you see here. And um, I just spent last night, because yesterday is when my power came back on, so I just spent that like late afternoon just sort of making sure all the mods were set up properly and it worked. Uh, I had to dis disable a few things. Uh, really, I only had to disable... Uh... Oh, that's all right. I'll still be here. And I'll still be talking to myself. Uh, what's it called? Uh, there's this mod called Desire Paths. And Desire Paths, apparently, like, the day I decided to install it, like, broke. Uh, and it caused a bunch of, like, horrible visual errors. And I had to, like, get rid of that. But... You know. <laughs> yeah, frighten me with another alert message. <laughs> I don't know. The only other... <laughs> the only other uh, alert message I guess I have on that you could probably trigger is like a host one or something. Although I don't know that that one makes a noise. I don't think I've ever heard that one make a noise. Like, let me see. No, that makes a noise. Oh, it's the raid one that doesn't make a noise. That's what I'm thinking of. That one's not set up properly. And yeah, that's that's the GIF I use. <laughs> that's the GIF I use for uh, the host thing. I just so like when I was setting up uh, Streamlabs, I was going through all of my. Uh, excuse me, I gotta turn my fan up because it's getting hot. So I was going through. Uh, like, my folders of just, like, GIFs and stuff. Because I was thinking, eh, still image isn't going to work. You know, I have a lot of cool still images or whatever that would be funny or weird or whatever. But uh, I also have, like, these GIFs, like, just folders of GIFs that I've had for years and years and have never found any application for because, like, they're not even, like, funny haha reaction meme bullshit GIFs. They're just, like, like, fucking, where is he? It's just like tingle here. And uh Like like where am I supposed to use that? But apparently I can use it on the stream. Because why the hell not? Uh and then here we are. Where's Juliet? Where's Juliet? Visitors from the Gao Nation are leaving. Gaoiwi Nation. Uh it is winter. And I gotta double check that everyone's okay, because it's gonna drop really low. We've got a an order to make some jackets right now, but that might be a while. Because I don't have any materials. So one of the problems uh, with just having a huge pack of mods is there's just some weird behaviors that you don't really expect to be happening that just start happening. And one of the things that's going on right now is, so normally torches and like wood fire, like generators and stuff, take wood as fuel. But with this mod, with one of these mods, it can use like cloth and like leather and stuff as fuel to burn. So what ends up happening is I do a bunch of hunting and I'm like, okay, cool, I can make some clothes now. I've got all this leather, I've got all this wool, this fur, all that stuff. But like the, the supply starts to decrease 
uh, over time because my colonists are using it as uh, fuel, textiles. So you gotta like turn this off, which I'll do right now. But like that that bothers me. I don't like that that's like a default feature. Uh, I think it's cool, but uh... oh yeah. So this is this is part of the megafauna mod. Uh, these things are kind of terrifying. They're like walking meat tanks. Um, as you can tell, because they're made of 400 meat and 135 leather. Uh, and I already have a lot of their meat in here because during a, uh, during a raid, uh, a stray bullet hit one of these guys and there was like seven of them. There was like a herd of like seven of them all around here. You still might be able to see their blood. Yeah. Here's some of it. Uh, Unitherium. One of these guys all the way around here, like all the way up this bend. And, uh, so what happened was, uh, I was like, oh shit, I just enraged the entire pack. So I called all of my dudes back inside the base, and these dudes just like went on a rampage and slaughtered the entire raiding party that was attacking me. Uh, which was amazing. It was wonderful. It was spectacular. Uh, but then they ran out of raiders to kill, and I was the only, my pawns were the only ones left on the map. So they start bashing the doors down. And so one of the mods is, uh, one of the mods we have installed is like run and gun, which means colonists, uh, while they're walking around, they can shoot and move at the same time. And, uh, what that means is I can just kite them. So what I did was, is I grabbed everybody and I was like, okay, back up, back up, back up. And they were just shooting as they were retreating. And I just led them around the map slowly, like riddling, riddling them with bullets. And like one one of these guys took like like fifty shots, like direct hits, of like to go down. It's insane how much punishment they can like withstand. It's kind of terrifying. Uh, if I didn't have the running gun mod, that would have ended this. That would have ended this playthrough right there and then. Um, running gun is kind of overpowered, and I'm not sure how I feel about the balance. But it saved my life uh, at least once or twice now. So I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, it occurs to me because it's winter. Oh, I can just turn this shit off. In fact, let's just get rid of the passive coolers. And next summer, I want to make sure I have uh, coolers installed. In fact, let's start working on that right You know, this one doesn't have anywhere to go. Hmm. Maybe I should do it like this. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. How do these vents work? Okay. Uh. It's like I could put that there, and then that there. Just stick some vents in here. That might work out. Uh, let's do that. Okay, let's put three of these guys in. Maybe just two. I'll put one here, one here, and then that. Yeah, sure. That looks okay enough. I gotta make sure I've got power conduits running over there. Yoink. All the way down there. All the way up there. Just to, uh, future-proof that shit. Wonderful. Oh god, a raid. Okay, so we might have pissed off the, like, Empire faction. Um, so yeah, that's cool. So they're gonna avoid our turret fields. That doesn't matter because we're dumb and we don't have turrets yet. Is it just that guy? Is it just him? We can handle that. Alright, come at me, buddy. 
Oh, wait, there's two of them. One's going for my windmill, one of them's going for my cooler. That means she's going for my food supply. Uh, we don't like that. At all. Shit. He's going for the windmill. They're both going this way. So I guess we can line them up in a wall here? They're, they're melee, so it doesn't really matter if I'm behind cover, right? Yeah, they both have, like, shields. Oh. That's fine. I guess we'll just wait for them. Come on, shoot! Oh, you know what? I could kite him, too. Because he's melee. I can just fucking leave. Wonderful. Okay, uh, and there's this guy. So because these guys are from the Empire, they have really good stuff. A mechanoid egg. Oh, that's a drug. Oh yeah, one of my colonists died. He was addicted to that. I guess that's the drug itself. My first time seeing one. I was like one was like that is it hatched into fucking mechanoids? Are these like snarks? But I guess that's not the case. Ah, finally. She had one single wood. Alright. That's how you handle a raid. Yeah, run and gun is stupidly overpowered if you have melee enemies. They just can't affect you at all. They're kind of completely useless. God, these giant monsters. Really like to taunt me. also occurs to me, I probably want to start building heaters. Like, do you have a penalty right now on you? Bad temperature, yup. They've already got penalties, okay. Uh, so let's start setting up some... There we go. Start raising the temperature. And we have another raid coming in. Okay. Uh, some, some Lynx people. Just got some primitive weapons. That's fine. We can deal with that. In fact, I think we might just go out there and meet them. Come on, fight me. Oh, yeah, running gun is... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's overpowered. It's pretty easy to call running gun overpowered, because it is. Okay, carry on, guys. That, that's the read. We're on, like, the second highest difficulty on Randy Random. I might turn it up, but it could just be RNG that's protecting me right now. So turning the difficulty up would probably just get me killed. Because we have had some near wipes already. Um, uh, so I'm not... I'm not, like, too safe. I don't feel extremely safe. 
Oh, right, shit, I want in here, too. Make sure everybody stays warm. You have enough components. Why are these, these kind of indoors? What's up with that? This, this, this temperature mod's really good. Hey, Apaka's pregnant again. And it's over there for some reason. Nice and warm. Fantastic. And having it really cold outside reduces some of the power consumption of our coolers. Not by much. Not by much, but it does. Rise and shine, everybody. All this went off. Uh, did that knock out the power? Conduit's okay, okay. Fine. Nice and warm now, after that fire. Don't have any more penalties here. Very impressive workshop and all. It's good, it's good. An awful sculpture. Gonna fucking throw that out. Uh, let's forbid these mechanoid eggs, because that addiction is bad. You don't want anyone to be addicted to that. Man, it looks like we've cleaned up all the rock chunks that have been nearby. Dang, we had an idle colonist too. I think we need to start some new projects. Okay. Okay, okay, now. Uh, where do we want to expand? I don't want to expand, just for the sake of future proofing this, I don't want to expand into this area. Because that might cause, like, issue. Um. Yeah, we are kind of boxed in a little bit right now. Because what do I need? I need, like, a prison or something. I need... Like, let's look at some production. Like, like what do we need room for? Maybe a quarry? Eh, I could build a quarry. Do we have a guy who's good at that? I like mining. I think we did. No, we don't. Okay. I think that guy might have died at some point. Um, I guess we could go for another research bench. We could make a lab. Just a specific, dedicated, like, lab. I think that's our option. Yeah, I think that's the option I want to go with. Stick window. Like, what are these bridges? They can only be shallow. I wish I could... 
have a platform on like the deep ocean. That's like one of the things I really want to do. <laughs> that kind of like wildly irresponsible thing you can do in like Dwarf Fortress. You know, we're not producing enough power, are we? Don't think we are. Uh oh. You know what we should do? Here's a project. That that's a project. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take that out, take that out, take that out, take that out. Then in anywhere where there is not uh, flooring already, like stone or whatever, we're gonna put concrete. Floors, floor, there they are. Everything's moved around, I don't know where it is. Okay, uh, there, there. That's it. And I've just gotta mine this bit out. There we go. That should uh, help to increase our production. Yes, build. <laughs> this actively ugly? Yeah. This ugly is like shady dirt. There we go. This guy's obstructed. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't block each other. They're, they're very small. They can fit close. So this should increase our overall uh, production. Yeah, even if they're not like running very fast, just like two of these like barely working is pretty good. Well, now we're hemorrhaging. Oh, we're hemorrhaging. Wind. Wind, come back! Come back, Wind! There we go! Wind is back. Okay, yeah, so if the... Was something turned on? Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. To, uh, <laughs> to properly maintain. I think a solar panel or something might be good, but... Oh, we had machining, didn't we? Uh, so that should give us access to the machining table. Yep. Okay, now we're now we're getting our power back. We're in the we're in the green, in the black. There's some dead Bengal cats. <laughs> Locked by roof. Oh, hold on. Roof. Remove roof. Oh, can I not? Can I not remove this roof? Shit. Oh, it's overhead mountain, isn't it? Fuck. Um. I guess I have to reinstall this like a tile up. Or is it exactly? There. Okay, just one tile up is fine. 
this. Blocked by roof. Still blocked by roof? Excuse me? I miss... I miss... There. There. What? There are roofs and rounds. Huh. Got to move it up again? Still blocked by roof. Huh. Blocked by windmill. Oh, they have to be aligned anyway. Shit, right. All right, all right. Take it out, take it out. Just causing us more trouble. We're gonna have to do something about that later. Producing more power now. Oh, I might want a bigger generator. Let's we'll see. Uh, that's the windmill. Colts. Duchess of the Exodus Imperium. <laughs> uh, wants to perform a low power test of one of our ships. Three of attack weapons. She does up front the cold air will cool the area around Rice Town for six and a half days. Farming crops, any person or animal without adequate protection. Since you are a local landholder under imperial law, we need your honorable permission to proceed. 450 bucks worth glitter world medicine. Shit, that's good. Glitter World Medicine is pretty valuable. That can save someone's life several times over. Uh. Hmm. Question. Is that what I want to be doing? Uh. Because how cold is it going to get? Is the question. Check our, let's check our gear. Negative 20, negative 13, negative 25, negative 35. It's currently negative two. Uh, one of our problems might be keeping it warm enough inside. Shit, okay. Um. Okay. Well. You know what? Activated a cold snap. Okay, do we have jackets being made? Apparently we do. Let's get that glitter robe medicine where it needs to go. How much is the temperature dropping now? Negative 10 outside. 
Surprise, there were still rice plants alive. Uh, it seems like our heaters can keep up. Although, some of these extra rooms are getting a bit too cold. This room's kind of big. Hmm. Yeah, wow, it is, it is, oh, holy shit, it is so cold. That is, that is very cold. Did not expect that to be that cold. That is, that is quite cold indeed. <laughs> I think we're all doing okay, though. All gonna survive, even though it's uncomfortable temperatures, though. I'm not getting an uncomfortable temperature uh, thing here, though. With uh, Paul working on this uh, research bench. Hmm. Okay. Shoot frenzy. Great. Um, do you guys really want to be hanging outside right now? Dude. Like... I, I mean, I guess it's okay for you outside, but Sissy's barely okay out here. It seems like it's plotting away. And a raid! Two different angles. Preparing for the attack. We got one over here. Funny looking fella. With the rifle. So just some like Western dudes. Ew, he's got shoes. This not has shoes. All right, time to use that shooting frenzy. Get him! That's a corpse. <laughs> it's a bit harder to do the running gun thing when the enemy has range. It's the other guy. Way up here. Ah, music cut up. Maybe it ended. Dang, headshot. Hell yeah, everyone's dead. Yeah, okay, yeah, running guns are overpowered. I like the power it gives me, but you know what? I think I'll take more risks uh, because of that. And from then on, from now on, I will uh, take advantage of this extra power and try to take on more uh, dangerous situations because I know I can maneuver around them a bit better. So I don't care as much about the power running out because if I cut out the freezer, it's not going to go up that much because the outside temperature is pretty uh, pretty low. In fact, it's actually warmer inside the freezer than it is outside. Yo, spices? Hell yeah. Yo, pal. Grab them spices. Get them. Go on. Get them spices.
Okay. Got a few days left before I can just demolish that monument. Uh, well, I think we are sort of reaching the end of the stream because we're about to hit the five hour, 20 minute mark for my stream up time. I think that's more than enough for a world for one day, honestly. Even though I can legit play this game for like 12 hours straight. Uh, can I play this game for 12 hours straight and have it be stream content? I don't really think so. Well, I guess we'll handle this raid and uh, then we'll call it a day. God damn. Okay, it's tribes people, that's easy. We'll just preempt them. What the fuck is that? A yak. Oh, it's just a yak. News of peace. It feels like really fast. That, that, that's that jogger stuff. Has she been just in such bad condition that we haven't seen her jog, like, actually go at her max speed yet? Got him. Or so, shell, poncho. I think you're all loaded up. Who's finishing them off? Wonderful, we're eating donkey, did it. Uh, these guys, I'll just leave them. Get carry off their dead. The mass grave. I like how this donkey looks. Is that vanilla? Yeah, it is. Oh. Donkey. Well, ah, uh, that's been Rimworld. Us and our, uh, cool dudes and stuff, yeah, over at Rice Town here. Which is more of just a compound than a town, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, maybe next time we'll deal with these insectoids. I don't know. We gotta check out more of the research tree. Uh, I think we need to set up, like, a dedicated lab and try to have two researchers going at any one time instead of just the one so we can effectively double uh, our science output because right now we're kind of just sort of uh slowly trotting along but no anyway oh yeah let me uh uh wait wait there it is that's what I was looking for. Stream's over. Thanks for watching. Nice. Isn't that great? Isn't that fantastic? Uh, save and quit the OS. Well, that was a fun stream. Um, that was a really chill stream. Uh, I was expecting, like I said earlier on, I was expecting to like have a lot to talk about today, because there's just a lot of stuff I haven't been able to like, you know you know, discuss after, like, 30 hours of, uh, power being out. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm streaming this week, honestly. Like, I've got one more stream tomorrow. Um. So, uh, maybe I'll see if I can get that Neopet stream going. I'll have to add some people. But, uh, if not that, then maybe more RimWorld, maybe something else. 
Uh, I haven't actually played Super Hot Mind Control Delete since I first played it on stream, so that might be an option. Uh, I probably want to return to that. Uh, I might be able to get like another stream worth of enjoyment out of it. Uh, but we'll see. So uh, thanks for everybody who tuned in. Uh, I know I saw the number pop up and down a few times. So that's cool. Uh -huh. uh, I need to get back to that hot Devil Daggers numbers. Um, anyway, so like, I guess like one of the other things I know I'm going to be streaming at some point this month is like I'll inevitably be streaming uh, Warframe because there's a new update coming out August 25th. And I do like Warframe, although Warframe causes me literal physical pain to actually play for a number of reasons. Um, so that'll be a fun excuse to play it. It'll be new content. I'll probably get some spicy clicks or something for that, I guess. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>